Welcome to the stronghold. And if I need to roll my dice at all, I'll just roll them around a crack. <laughs> okay, bend over and roll it. Down. Yes. Is that a long rest? And it's moving to the gaming area, I went to that living area for the spare bedroom. Oh, nice. To see what we have. We've got the space in this place. Yes. You can, you can set this up as kind of like a nice area for people to come in and mm. chill and put a TV or something. That's fine. Yeah. QR game changing things. Right? Fucking machine. <laughs> yeah. It's just cheap at 20 grand a pop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is the plan? Anything else in town you want to do? Oh. Does anyone have anything that they need done? I think. Nope. So we got back from the most recent trip. We got a bit more information about law and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're picking you up. Yep. We cleared and we got some cash as well. Okay. Because we're completing our. Um, uh, the various quests. Yep. And the final part of that was we found the location of the castle that we were initially searching for. Cool. So and I think we also got a quote on like building the manor. As well. So that was going to be the other thing. If we want to build the manor. Yep. Which is something you you had a, a idea on. Um, Slight bullying at the town. That's that's something that could be done now before we go. But otherwise, the intention was have a long rest mm -hmm. and then progress to the castle so that we can go for that next part. Unless, of course, anyone else had any other thoughts. Mm. Or how we just start going to the castle from there? Okay. Yeah. Well, remind me what we're expecting to find in the castle. So the castle was where the brother was dragged off to, to an initial dwarf. And I have to remember his name. Gundren, I think. Gundren was the one. So you, you guys got caught up. The other person who you were with was the told us that Gundren was taken by goblins to the Cragmore Castle. Cragmore Castle. Right. And that's what we're aiming for. So we're just trying to find the brother. We can find the other brothers who are in a mine somewhere around where we are. Yeah. Lovely. The just only other thing that we can do is there was a thunder tree was mentioned, mm -hmm. but I think the main thing that we've kind of been aiming for is Cragmore Castle. Yeah. And we know that if we clear Cragmore Castle, then the cast ma town master will give us 500 gold. Oh, hell yeah. So that was the other thing that was kind of Yeah. Because, you know, we need more money at this point. <laughs> Always need money. It doesn't hurt. All right. Well, in that case, then. We're building a manor as well. Well, I categorically dis disagree with you about building a manor. Oh, <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Not like there's anything else to buy. The summer. <laughs> I mean, given that Arca's entire deal is finding, you know, bigger people to just kind of hide behind and just that as the life plan of, ooh, town to retire, town to live in that's not going to throw rocks at the kobolds. Ooh. <laughs> All right then, Dim, I think we, we have our long rests that night and then we will head off to track onto the castle. Everyone can see the TV up there. Put yeah. our ears and yeah. the yeah. 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 The frog. You can I mean, maybe just put it on that now. Oh, so we're good. Thanks, Dan. Okay, so heading down the tribal trail. Spending most of the day to get to where you are. But 
coming to the area where you think that there should be a path leading off the road towards Gravel Cup, you haven't come across anything yet. If you just want to start heading into the forest of the area that you believe is that. Um, can I do a survival role to try to find paths or something that might elude normally? Yeah, sure. Uh, so that's a 17 plus 4, 21. 21. Excellent. The only tracks that you can see is you can see an old campsite just off the side of the road, and you can see the tribal trail has been well used with caravans, wagons, people, but no trails heading off. Um, I, I think we've got a fairly good idea of where it is, so maybe we just start trampling through the forest. Yeah, so like we'll get to the to the closest point, and then we'll trample through the the forest towards the yeah yeah. Okay. All right. So heading into the forest, pretty non-eventful. Heading in there, sun sort of starts to set. Can't really see the sun due to the thickness of the forest anymore. Anyways, it's darker and darker. You believe you're at the spot that you were advised this castle would be, and you cannot see anyone or anything in the area. Just the forest. How sturdy are the trees? Very. It looks like they've I've, been there hundreds of years. I was about to say, who wants to go up a tree and... Um, I can climb up a tree. I'll climb up, like, I'll try to see a, a tall tree that might give a good vantage point of the local area. Yeah. I'll climb up a tree and see if I can find, like, see something from the top of the tree. Absolutely. You need yes, a uh, Athletics roll? Five on three? Uh, athletics, yeah. Six plus nine. Do I get advantage on that? Because I'm a tabaxi. And I'm not too. Uh, <laughs> don't tabaxi just have a I've climb speed? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can climb. Then you're fine. You can climb to the top. <laughs> uh, you don't need to roll for that. <laughs> You get to the top, no problems. All you can see for uh, kilometres around is forest. <laughs> you see a few like campfires off in the distance, a bit of smoke towards the sky. So, and that this sun is now set. How reliable was this guy? I mean, he was. He was a necromancer, so maybe we... <laughs> but he gave us the information and we took it at face value. Oh. Um, Do you trust necromancers? No, <laughs> no not anymore. Um, any thoughts, any spells of how we could find out where this castle is based on where we are? I mean, looking at, like, dusk maybe isn't the best. Do you want to set up camp and maybe... We'll yeah. try to try to camp there that night and then go from there. Go from there. All yeah. right, we'll set up camp and <coughs> Yeah. Setting up camp for the night? Yep. Anyone going on watch? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll rotate. rotate. Yeah. I'll go first. Um, I'll go second. I'll take third. I'll sleep through the whole night. <laughs> I'll, yeah. jo I'll join one of you at, at some point. Who feels that they're not very good at perception? Uh, I'm, I'm decent, not horrible. I'm alright with perception. And the dogs will stay up with me, and then... Yep. How much watch, how many watches have you divided up yourself? Uh, we've done three. Three? Okay. Well, actually, no. If there's three dogs, three watches, each of them will take a watch with someone as well. Mm, okay. Yeah. Who's on the first watch? Second watch? Third watch? Fourth watch? You said breakfast. <laughs> Second watch people, please roll perception. Yes. Do they get advantage because of the dogs? Or do you want the dogs to roll 
Don't try, Robinson. Uh, they get a plus three to perception. Oh, we put Knox as well, sorry. Um, 14. No, oh, yeah. You already forgot him about him. Left him behind. <laughs> no, he's got, I've got his stats up. Let's stop that one. I'll do it. 17 for the dogs. Okay. So. Just knock this one. The dogs do perceive something out there. They start low growling and start coming towards the area. It's turn your first or second one? Second. Second one. So you got. What do you do? Um, you get death with you. Yeah. I'll go. No, he, they're the ones growling, right? Yeah. Um, death. Go on. See what it is, quick. Go on. And then I follow them while leading. Follow him towards the sound. Okay. Excellent. You're gonna dog kill all you. Okay. Wolf heads towards the area and you're following. Okay. Uh, what comes out of the forest is big and purple and more bear sized and it takes a swipe at the wolf. <laughs> As it is an owl bear. An owl bear? Owl bear. You do know that he was going to try to kill the wolf. I don't know. Uh, I'm aware. <laughs> One, two. I will turn into a dial as soon as possible. Alright, um, roll for initiative. Okay, that's everyone. Uh, Nox is at 16, and yeah. I think I was at 13. 15 for the dogs, uh, 14 for Zor, 12 for Arka, and 9 for Yara. <clears throat> Doggone uh, Fourteen. Mm. Okay. Eleven to hit the wolf. I don't think so. Fourteen. No. Second attack, twenty-five to hit the wolf. Uh-huh. Uh, 18 slashing damage. Oh, that's spicy. Somebody would. What's our wolf turn right after that? Um, is, is, is Wolfle still alive? Oh, yeah. They've got like 37 health. Yes. Yeah, they're beefy. I'll just take my 17 and sit in the corner. Uh, I'm assuming Vaughn isn't close to the Albert at the moment. Like, or well, the wolf within be between the elbow. Yeah, so you're not within five feet. No, probably no. not. Okay. All right. Um, they're gonna bite. Seventeen plus five. So three twenty-two to hit. Yes. What I two d six plus three. Uh. So Nine damage, yes. and I need a DC 13 strength saving throw, please. 13. Yeah. No, it's all good. And that's the turn. Go on, go. Did I have the opportunity to turn to a wolf before? Or? No. Okay. <laughs> Unless you did it as you were patrolling, were you? Or? No. Not before you saw it. Yeah. Um, in that case, I'll. Reach up and then bend over, shake myself, and then spur starts to grow out of my body and I grow big into the dive wolf. Mm -hmm. um, how far am I? How far away am I? So you're about 10, 15 feet. You ain't grabbing too far behind. I will. I'll go. I'll go right up next. No, actually. Um, am I able to get behind it? Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and get behind it, and then I'll take a bite out of its back leg. Okay. Which you get to do in the job. Get that cat attack. <laughs> Which means the positioning doesn't matter so long as you're, you know. Within five foot. Uh, 
How far are they away from the campsite? Do you mind if I use this? Uh -huh. You would have heard this. I assume that's what he said. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. It's a normal D20, right? For an attack roll? Yeah. yeah. That's 12 plus 5. That's uh, 17 to hit. Yes. And that is 2d6. Five, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 piercing damage. Piercing? And it needs to make a 13 strength saving throw as well. Ah. <laughs> That's the end of my go. Oh, actually, actually, before I end my go, I'm going to make a big howl so everybody wakes up. Okay. Excellent. You hear a commotion, not coming from your camp, but um, further out. probably the further direction that the Albert came from. Knox, waking up, sees the Albert. Um, um, Eldritch Blast <laughs> uh, is uh, 23 to hit, yeah. and that's a zero, so I'm pretty sure that's a 10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's 10 plus 4, so 14 damage. Yeah, the Albert is not looking happy. And then Vox will move behind, kind of like the rest of the people, so it's yeah. a little bit furthest away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Our bear tries to bite the wolf. 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, nine piercing. Yep. Four attack. 19 to hit. Back up. Four, 11 slashing. Well done, Gavin. The dog is down. So, how does shove work? when it comes to the attacks for opportunity? As in, if you shove someone out of someone's range, no. do they... Force movement does it. Okay. Um, well, then I will... Oh, how much I can do when he's down. But I'll, t I'll take... An, I'll start, like, howling at the at the um, owlbear, trying to get his attention, while biting again at his back legs. Yeah. Uh, so that is... That is 21 to hit. Hits. And that would be 2, 5, 6, 7, 8 piercing damage. 8 piercing. And then that it needs to make another strength saving throw. 9 actually failed. Yep, so it's knocked prone. Knocked prone. Okay. Well done. Yeah, Master Tibbles. Um, Master Tibbles will <coughs> leap up, uh, seeing the Albert charge into a position, flanking the direwolf on the back, probably next to the fallen direwolf, and will make an attack on said Albert with. Um, my staff of defense, so it is a 21 to hit. Yes, so I'm just looking at my draft list here. Oh, okay, that's that. Oh, we should have tried to tame the hell there. Okay, you're getting out there as well as three, plus <laughs> three is 12 damage, and then with my offhanded strike, I with a, no, maybe I don't hit, um, 12 to hit. Okay, that's my turn, thank you. Marker. So, how far off is this happening from where I am? About 30 seconds. Okay. Um, Arca kind of wakes up looking grumpy at this. And kind of gets up scrambles over and drops down onto all fours a little bit dragon like and yeah. Got you. 
Do I think I could thread a 15 foot cone over this thing without hitting anyone else, or are they clustered too much? Yeah, two people are too close. Um, There's three of us around it, so yeah, that we're close. Well, well, there no. goes the fun option. Um, just spits a uh, ball of electricity at the owlbear from. Oh no, it's not prone. That's going to make everything I can do. What do you buy? Just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take the disadvantage for it being prone. And just spits a ball of electricity at it. And probably misses. That is. Um, 13 to 13 hit. hits. Ooh. Okay. So, it takes... more effort than it should to get a dice out of this crack. It takes, uh, 11 lightning damage. Okay, so... You see the owlbear seize up momentarily, slump down, and the eyes close. It is dead. Um, Zulvan Governor immediately spins around and tries to see what that noise was that he heard before. Yep. Come out of the end. Yara? I'm looking at here because I know we got a healer's kit last time. Yep. I do says... hear something charging through the forest from that direction. I can deal with that in a second. <laughs> the kit has 10 uses. As an action, you can expend one use of the kit to stabilize a creature that has zero hit points. Yep. Can I stabilize my dog? Depends on if we're doing. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> I run and stabilize the dog. <laughs> yep. So it's. And it says I don't need to, without needing to make a wisdom medicine check. Mm. Yep. So that's why we got stabilized, but down. Okay. And I get the other two dogs to, like, stand guard over us. We can hear this other entity coming from a certain direction. Yep. And that's all we know so far. So we know as it comes through the brush in front of you, it is another owlbear. It looks quite enraged. And it is attacking Zorgon Garner. as it is the one to look out. Yep. 18 to hit. Uh, hits. Six piercing damage. Yep. Second attack. Swing back. Fourteen to hit. Uh, that just hits. For ten slashing damage. Yep. Nox. Nox. Uh, only noise that we can hear is the one in front of us, currently. Um, Nox. Looks at this and decides, you know, now would be a good time to do an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> so. You found how many you did. <laughs> um, that is a Nat one. So. <laughs> he misses. Zorban Gamma. I disengage and move back towards where the other wolves are. And then I end my bed. Master Tibbles. Uh, Master Tibbles will move up to swap out with Zorban Governor and take a attack on the bear. Uh, 16 to hit. Yes. Oh no, sorry, that's just that I don't think I have advantage on this attack, so no. Not because I wasn't hiding or anything like that. So it's eight damage. And then with my backhand attack, uh, 12 to hit. Does not hit. All right, that's me then. I'm, I'm face to face with the bear now. Uh, having seen the last thing, you know, actually kind of work and staying down in that I am a tiny dragon, all fours sort of pose. Arca turns to this new scary thing and spits another witch bolt of electricity at it. 
badly with a nat one. <laughs> no, this. Yeah. So I. Is it within 30 feet of us, roughly, than the yeah. other? I sprint at it. Like, just sprint at it. And as she runs past, you see her face kind of morph into more of like a dog snout with like teeth coming down. Quite like rugged like wolf teeth sprouting out of her mouth and i rage that's why that happens and i take a swing at the other mm -hmm. or 12 which i'm guessing does not hit does not hit just doing the same okay that's fine i'm just standing there then okay it turns to take a bite out of you, Kiara. <laughs> 15 to hit. Yep, it's my armor class. I'm surprised you're all sleeping in your armor. Uh, 13 piercing damage. Well, I am because I'm not wearing any armor. <laughs> Mine is scales. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear armor either. Because I'm not <laughs> That's valid then. Yeah, none of you wearing armor. <laughs> you're a wolf. Yeah. And you're a wolf, and <laughs> Nock doesn't have any armor, so. <laughs> Uh, that was 13? Yep. Uh, the second attack, claws. Mm -hmm. 15 to hit. That's my armor class. Need to back out. Or 19 slashing damage. Jesus. I'll just bite it. Nox. Uh, Nox will see this, make a uh, strategic decision to class <laughs> um, Eldritch Blast, <laughs> uh, which is. Plus 10. I'm ten raging, up. so all of that gets halved. Correct, it does. Yeah, that's the first one's 19. Oh, there's no bonus on that because. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no that's 19 not. and 13. Um, so that would be 7. Okay, I'm on 19 hit points. That's still good. Yep. Yeah. Dorgon, go. I circle around to the um, next. Next to our friendly panther, and yep. the dog, and take a bite out of the owl. Mm -hmm. 17 plus 5, uh, so 20, 22? Yep. Two, yeah. <laughs> 5, 6, 7, 8 piercing damage, and the DC 13 strength saving throw. So yes, it's not prone. Master Tibbles. Uh, Master Tibbles will hit with the staff. Oh, Nat 20, thank you very much. Very nice. Right. That's exactly the time that I want to do that. Ooh, you, you would get also advantage, wouldn't you, because of prone or? Yeah. yeah. Oh, is there another person around as well? It's no, prone. it's prone. That's oh, prone. prone. Well, I can't get more than this. <laughs> but I did. Um, so that, but do we, would I get a sneak attack on something with prone? Because I've got yeah, advantage, got advantage on it. Yeah, yeah, I do. You do. So it's 16 damage with my first attack, and then my backhand, which I then get advantage on 16 or 24 to hit. Yes. And that is six damage. It was my second weapon back. Uh, it still seems alive? Yes. Well, having seen almost everything in the repertoire be made completely unusable by between the crowding and the um, prone, Arca just kind of rushes forwards, finds any gap in the crowd around this owlbear, and as she goes in for a bite, the all the nice draconic teeth start glittering with electricity. 17 plus uh, 22 to hit. That must be good for the teeth or the electricity. <laughs> oh, yeah, a great way to clean them. Fuck you. Yeah. <coughs> and seven thun uh, lightning damage. And then just kind of stay there growling at it. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna take a swing with my axe. Thankfully, advantage. Hopefully. Oh, did he? Oh, no. That was the wrong one. Did I gotta do a roll. No, I didn't roll it. I rolled a d12 instead of a 20. Let me try that again. Oh, that's not good. Uh, 11 <coughs> plus 6. Uh, 17 to hit. 17 to hit? Yep. You hit on the 6 that you can roll. I always forget to I click on that one. Alright, so this. I do seven damage, but I get plus two because I'm raging. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is seven plus two, nine damage. Mm -hmm. You still hold the roll because it's hit. No, I've got a bite. I'm gonna be under half of it. One point off under. Seventeen to hit with a beak attack on the arrow. Yep. So that's going to be the last big piercing. So that's three. Does it stand up again or? No. Okay. It's near death. It is right at the beginning of its end. 13 to hit. No, misses. Uh, Elvis Blasts. <laughs> Oh, disadvantage. Range attacks against prime things, which is why... Oh, 20! That <laughs> uh, was 9 plus 6 is 15 to hit. Hits. It, this is what's taken out most of my six. repertoire. So 9 plus 4 is 13 damage. Because it's, oh yeah, yeah. it's prime. It yeah. stops struggling on the ground and it stops moving. What kind of spells do you have? In combat. Uh, range attack, range attack, uh, range attack... Touch attack and cone attack. Are albums considered beasts? Yeah, I, I think so. so. Cool. I drag one of them back to camp, mm -hmm. and I like butcher some meat up so we can eat it, and then leave the rest of the dogs to feed. So I'm like kind of like dragging the owlbear and carrying the other wolf yeah. under my arm. Yeah, what, what one of you... those wolves needs feeding up to get healthy again. Yeah. I I um, roll a d6 and then I'll see that of hours that it's. Three, half, two. So it's two hours. Two hours is not much. After, after the second hour bear goes down, I look around and see if like, I notice anything that could have disturbed the owl bears that sent them this way. So, investigating or do you have any other survival? Well, I'm standing there and see if I hear anything else that was out of the forest. All right, perception check then. Very roughly, like butchering this owl there so we can cook it, but also like leave enough for the dogs to eat. Probably drag the stuff up. So. Yeah. They're probably already ignoring us. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> Do we what? still technically get a long rest? And it's Matt... just broken, you can continue on that. Yeah. Matt, Matt 24, <laughs> total 24. <laughs> 24, excellent. Uh, you do not hear anything or notice anything moving. You do notice it is deadly silent. There is nothing. No, no bugs or sounds or anything? Nothing. Well, I, then I transform out of the direwolf and then start cutting off one of the paws of the owlbear and taking some feathers in its beak as well. Okay. I think Arthur takes some of the feathers just for... Decoration purposes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll do my long rest. Oh, yeah. I go back to sleep, but this time, like, cuddling the injured wolf. Yeah. Alright, rest of the night was uneventful. Still counts the long rest? Yes. Sun start to rise, it's still pretty dark where you are in the thick forest. You know that every day. Okay, can we have a little bit more of a look around? In the light of the morning, yeah. to maybe re climb a tree or go, I don't know, based on the early morning 500 meters or you know 150 yards or whatever it is, mm. down that way, that way, that way, climb another tree to try to find or locate Excellent. the nothing different. I think we've been hoodwinked by a necromancer. Yep, do we uh... try and find where the owlbears came from because they generally don't like, don't they live in like. Or like Do you want to roll a survival check to try to chase it back to where it is? Yep. 
I get advantage because I'm getting the dogs to help. Yeah. Before the apple gets out. So it's this one. Take five slots. Advantage. Ah, perfect. 21. Excellent. Okay. You do find the trader. You do find where they come through the forest. Come from the north. Did you want to follow us back? Follow oh, like a little bit. Follow for half an hour or so and you notice that they've come a fair distance. Okay, so it doesn't look like they were sent to us. They were just walking around. Alright. So there was... Thunder Tree Place? Someone so we've got two options. Option one is we go back to the Necromancer and try <laughs> out to the Necromancer. I don't know if that's going to necessarily find any more information. But make us feel better. Make us feel better. So maybe we keep that in our back pocket for later on. Okay. Option Probably two... Probably be fight we do that again. What? Probably be a fight. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just <laughs> definitely, definitely fight. Um, Master Tibbles is keeping that in the back pocket because Master uh, Tibbles today. does not appreciate being hoodwinked. <laughs> Um, Where was the next answer? Uh, oh, our, okay. So our option number two is that we go to Thunder Tree because mm -hmm. we know from Quentin of a druid that lives there who can give us information on the local area. Do we want to try and cut through the forest to get to Thunder Tree or do we want to go back out to the trail and follow it around? Um, we already bunch of the way through forest. A little bit. From looking at the map, we're kind of still on the very edge. Sort of just go straight. Want to go track through the forest? Do we want to? The only thing is, we might get lost. I could. <laughs> from the trees, can I have a? Do I see thunder tree? Like if I look in the no, northwest no, direction. No. Can I see Neverwinter? No. Can you see the edge of the forest by any chance, or not really? No. All right. Uh, how do we feel? Walk through or go around? Safest go would be to go around, but takes longer. Walk through or go around. One hex is five miles. One hex is five miles. Yeah. Uh, so where exactly are we? We're, We're at the thing Crackmore we Castle. thought was Crackmore Castle. Ah, okay. Um. And so there's no indication of any like paths or anything at all. Thirty no. miles. The day's five miles, but it's what sixty miles around. Whereas a round, a round would be two to three days, whereas straight through would be maybe a day. Yeah. Is there any... Track so you could only see forests. There weren't any landmarks at all? No. So I think the easiest one is we track through, and if we hit the river, we know that we turn left, left and we just follow the tree, that down. So that's probably our... We're heading north. Yeah. Oh, north. The river. oh, well, kind oh. of north. <laughs> Northwest. Head, head northwest, we hit river, turn left, we hit grass, if turn we, right. If we come out of the forest, we'll turn right until we yeah. hit the river. Mm -hmm. If we hit the river, then we'll turn left until we hit Thunder Tree. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to that. Yeah. That's sound logic. I don't think you need to make a survival roll or anything, but you're going to run into it eventually because you know it's on the map. We know, we know where it is and we know that it's a forest. Yeah. So if it's the there, we'll run into it. <laughs> Just to... <laughs> you reckon there's other person lied to us as well? <laughs> while, we're, while we're traveling, I feel so dirty about that necromancer. <laughs> oh. Oh. While we're traveling north, I, I'm thinking about how the necromancer seems to have tricked us, and I pull out a scroll and oh, start scroll. looking at it. What does the scroll say? Um, the necromancer gave you a scroll. Yes, yes we did. Maybe it's in just for you to open up at your own time. Ha ha ha! <laughs> you lose. <laughs> I had prepared explosive uh, for the next morning. <laughs> yes, or then, then as I'm opening it, I think I probably should have. This probably might have been booby trapped, but it's too late now. So, are you opening it in the middle of us, or are you have, <laughs> you, have you gone like a little bit further away? <laughs> I think, like, I think we're probably like going single file right through the forest. I imagine so. Yeah, I'm probably just doing it like, like second to the end. Did you want everyone to know, or do you want me to send a message for everybody? Uh, oh, just send me a message. Yep. And then I'll, I'll, then I'll reveal it if I need it. Like, no, I'm just pulling it out and reading as <laughs> we're walking along. <laughs> I tried to find it, my daughter was a stick to not expect I prepared explosive for us this morning. Oh. Yeah. So I'm just going to give him the good old people's elbow and run into the necromancer. Yeah, I'm writing necromancer down oh. as another one. Given that the one good spell that I have picked up for combat stuff gives me a cone attack, really useless for that fight. 
really good for Horde of Zombies. Yeah, well, we might have to send you in first so you can use that. You've got to get that off quick because otherwise, like, <laughs> we go pretty quickly to, or try to get pretty quickly into melee combat with stuff. <laughs> See, that's both good against Hordes. Giving myself 10 rounds of cone attacks. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I had advantage on deck saves, so even you hit me, I should be able to dodge, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, it's a save for half rather than... Alright. Travel majority of the day. Let's get it dark a little time. I believe you're out of the forest. Okay. Gradually, the trail becomes an old, overgrown lane widening between dilapidated buildings choked with vines and brush. In the middle of a settlement rises a steep hill, upon which stands a stone <coughs> house with a partially collapsed roof and an adjoining cottage. <coughs> a dirt road hugs the base of the hill and wends its way through old stone houses, many of which are roofless ruins. Other buildings appear intact. The whole place is eerily silent. A wooden sign is nailed to a post nearby. It reads, Danger. Plant monsters and zombies. Turn back now. Oh, I'm fine with that, because i got the woodcutter's axe. And, you know, <laughs> oh, you do as well, yeah. Okay. I can set my kind of attack to fire. Yeah, bang for that. But we're going to sneak through to start with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look. That's actually... Yeah. <laughs> Look, we were me. avoiding side quests that seemed unnecessary, but vengeance as a side quest, not it's unnecessary. Um. <clears throat> All right. And I move up to the T junction and just see what I can see. I'll move up a little bit with you, so I get out. Your dog's probably back up to full health as well. Yeah. Actually, I'll roll a sneak, because I'm trying to be sneaky. Well, yeah, I'll do that. Why am I not doing that? Mm -hmm. I'll take the hide action as well. Meanwhile, Arca on Rusio is just staying at the back. Yep. I get <clears> eight <throat> to stealth, so I stealth. <laughs> <laughs> um... You're wearing a maid's outfit and carrying a giant axe. Of course, you've got an eight on stealth. What color is maid outfit? Just black and white? It's just your typical maid outfit. Like anime like rather than historical. Oh, yeah, like <laughs> it looks like a maid outfit you find at like a con. I've got a nat 20 for a total of 21 for stealth. Nice. So the rear group's doing alright. They're moving forward. Do you move forward, Zog on Gamma? Or? I'm sort of in the middle. In the middle? Well, I mean, it kind of works for me to stand out so everyone else can kind of hide and then not get hit. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, what can we see? There's two or three buildings around us. Yeah, they're a bit <clears throat> dissipated, broken. Um, any sounds that we can hear from? It is very quiet. Too quiet? I wouldn't say too quiet, but you're <laughs> hearing birds. All right. Which, which, any preference on which way we go? Does any, does like on the ground, does it look like there's tracks leading it, like fresh tracks anywhere? Mm. Does like the oh, house up on the hill look like it has a fire going or looks? Mm. Give us an investigation, right? Uh, I don't have an investigation in my bunny. <laughs> look, I just look. Oh, that's not too bad. 17. 17, okay. You don't see any fires going here currently, but you do notice multiple foot prints around the place. Some new, some old, various. Where are the primarily new... human. Where does the newest one look like we're going? Uh, down this path here. Okay. Do we want to clear out the two houses behind us and then follow on the track? We can always probably go ahead and see what's yeah. going on. So I'll go down south to where the two houses are. And which house do we want to take? I'll take the one that's smallest the first. Smallest first. And Vox will move down into a covering spot where. She can fire Eldritch Blast. Yeah. At a strategic, yeah, that, that's good. Alright. Go into the one on the west. I will go into the one on the west. Do you want to move up, Arthur, or are you good where you are? Um, I'm being the one just sitting on a yeah. mule, I'm probably going to hang back maybe a little bit further forward, but like 
Do you yeah. want to cover the road just in case something does come down that way? Maybe yeah. as well, so that the Dominicans are already kind of, kind of cold down that way. Yeah. I'll move forward towards like the intersections. Yeah, I've, I've got a pretty good like shooting gallery there if anything comes out. So happy like that. See if people just give us a perception check and see if they can see. Oh, four plus ten. Does my passive perception count for anything? Um, sixteen yeah. passive perception. Passive, okay. What you do know is that there's vines and things all over the place, but the vines in front of the doors actually move in slightly. Not swaying with the wind, but swaying. Not exactly. What was the sign say? Plant uh, monsters. Plant yeah. monsters and zombies. Okay. Plant monsters in here. Do we want an additional spot, or do we just want to... I mean, I do extra damage to any form of plant. Alright, I'll say to... Um, That's from the axe, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cat. Oh, sorry, what's your character's name? Kiara. Kira, Kira, Kiara. There's um, some plants in here that need a little bit of trimming. Uh, <laughs> could you kindly do your thing? I walk <laughs> up and take a swing at the vines. Okay, roll for an <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Initiative. Hey, this time I oh. actually get to go before the first enemies. Seventeen for initiative for Kiara. The yeah. dogs aren't going to join this fight yet. Okay. Thirteen for Nox. Twenty for oh, Arca. And fourteen for Zul. Yeah. Arca goes first. Do I get my swing off yes. on the door? Yeah, true, true. That was, that was, where are we? Natural 20 for 700 damage. It was 12 to hit. So you hit the one at the front of the door? Yeah. Does not hit. That's right. So, have I noticed that these plant monster things are anything other than vines that someone swung an axe at yet? What's your perception? Um. What's your passive perception? That will be on that screen. 11. Yeah, no, no. You just think they're vines. <laughs> so, like, at this stage, I'm, like, keeping an eye out from the back, watching down the road, and just kind of getting ready to shoot a firebolt at anything that tries to attack us. So, you know, let's just go with ready to action of a firebolt at something that seems to be attacking and just, yeah, still sitting on Rusio and... Watching out for what's going on. Yeah, so the twig monster does move and does rear up and strike Arca. Not Arca, sorry. Kiara? Kiara. Yeah, that would be <laughs> hell of a reach. <laughs> yes, it would. Okay, so no, no. the firebolt then triggers. Yep. That is an 11 to hit, which is probably nothing good enough. It is a 19 to hit. Arca. Yeah. Yeah. Arca. Kiara. <laughs> Or five piercing damage. Here. Yeah. Uh, I take another swing with my axe. Yeah. So are you doing the other thing that you do? No, not yet. Not raging. Not yet. Hmm. 14. 14 hits. Okay. Now, the wording on this, I just want to check. It says, when you use this axe to make an attack against a plant or yeah. an ordinary plant or creature with a plant type or a wooden thing, 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 the attack deals an extra 2d6. Uh, mm-hmm. The damage is already 1d6. So is it extra? So 3d6? Okay. That's good. So that's 11 plus 4. So 15. 15 damage. It is utterly destroyed. You just made it into wood chips and it falls to the ground. What does it look like? Uh, it's just a bunch of vines and twigs stuck together, <laughs> moving as one entity. It moved, I swear. <laughs> is the door still there? Was there a door in the first place? No, there's no door in that one. Okay. Yeah, is, is there a doorway? Uh, I will swing at the other one. Yep. Oh, there's multiple. There's mm-hmm. one below us. Okay. I mean, I'm just looking at the map. I'm assuming that. Yeah. Oh, okay, then you don't need to see that. Um, nine to hit. Doesn't hit. Backward slam. 
uh, looking to hit. I'm assuming I would have been close to Yeah, yeah that's, that's what he's going out of. Okay. It uh, hits you back. It is up and strike you with a fine for 18 to hit. Uh, oh. It does hit. For two piercing damage. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't play raging if it's doing such low damage. It's all gone gunner. Seeing these vines attacking your friend, you can call him friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, um. I start running forwards, then I then I trip and start rolling on my face. <laughs> and then as I'm rolling in my face, I start growing bigger and bigger. And then I turn into a die wolf. Yes. <laughs> Can you get wild shaped more this session than I did in the entire last campaign? <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's definitely the end. <laughs> I think I wild shaped once in my last campaign. You were truly as well. You could have and done then so I. Try and take a bite out of the closest vine. Okay. Yeah. Is anyone else within five feet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a slash. Yeah. Uh, that is 26 to hit. Yep. Yeah. Looking white, just like slams into it with a mouth open. Seven. Nine. Uh, nine piercing damage. You take a huge chunk out of it and it oh, oh, stops oh. moving and falls apart. That's the end of my bit. Okay, Arthur. Have I seen that one that's just appeared over there? It looked like a shrub moving around, but yes. If it's looking like a shrub, then I'm just going to ride probably, you know, two squares to the east and... Well, there's one that's still moving that I know is aggressive, so just another firebolt at that one. Uh, 19. Oh, which one was this, sorry? That one was destroyed. Yeah, the one below the one one was destroyed. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So the only one alive is the one that's just come around. Right. Okay, I guess that's the, the one that has just. I don't know, did that emerge or just. It emerged. It came from around the corner. Okay, well, if I've seen it moving, then yeah, so 19 to hit. Yes. And that is. That one. Uh, five points of fire damage. It catches on fire and just shrivels up the flesh. Yeah. Arca just kind of throws her head back and looks to be almost like gargling electricity in celebration at that hit. There is still combat music. Tiara. <clears throat> Can't see anything moving at all. Mm. Uh, Got to yeah. in front of the door. I'm just going to move... Like to poke my head in here just to see if there's anything in here. Nothing. These ruined side by side cottages look as though they might have been the homes of prosperous shopkeepers or well off farmers in their time. All that remains are collapsed walls and piles of debris. Several young trees have grown within the ruins. You do not see anything moving. Let's see that. Let me go. <laughs> When we say it's terrible, but when we say like, do they look similar to what the other ones looked like? Like when we say young trees, like human size saplings, saplings. No, they don't look similar to what you just killed as such. Did you do a perception check? You know what? Sure, I'll do a perception. Where are we? No, that's not bad. Sixteen. Okay, you don't see anything moving. You, the trees do not look like similar to what you've destroyed. But you do notice one of the flagstone floor tiles is out of place. Ooh. The only thing. Is it nearby to me? Yes, it is. I kind of get my axe and just kind of like hand okay. pick flip it. So, pressure plate anyone? I can do that, but I... Well, that's why I'm hand pick flipping. 
for them. No, I'm just saying, yeah. like, I'm just t t torn between is that a trap door that you're opening or a trap pressure plate that you're setting off? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, about yeah. 30 seconds, won't we? There yeah. is a large old chest on the floor. Oh. Do you want to open it yourself or would you like to give I someone to do it? My axe. Yep. Um, the lock is rusted with the saws off. Inside. I'm still like trying to pancake open it with my axe. Opens up. It is full of copper, silver pieces, and gold. Ooh. Oh fuck yeah! I just pick it up. I don't. Even, I um, like traps door, not yeah. pick. Uh, one thousand four hundred copper pieces, one hundred sixty silver pieces, and ninety yeah. gold pieces inside. Hell yeah! Okay, if you're writing that down and you're and are quicker than me, I will. So one thousand four hundred gold. Copper. So, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. One hundred sixty silver. Yep. Yeah, done. And ninety gold. I take this down later. Sure. Alright, and then I'll going. shuffle back a little bit to just the edge, and that's my turn. Okay. The tibbles. Um, so the other place looks clear. I didn't look in this one. Is it... Oh yeah, I'll, I'll put my head, I'll use some of my movement to move into there. And do a investigation check as well. In this one in front of you? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. You find nothing. Okay. Do you want to move back out? Uh, yeah, I'll use the rest of my movement to not go up to the T-junction, but kind of cut across down on the road. So like, there? Yeah. Sorry, where, uh, the, give me, put me here. Yep. Yeah, uh, a little bit further up. And one to the right. That's perfect. I'll stay close by to Arthur. Go along, Governor. Just staying put. Yeah, I'll be next oh, to yeah. I'll move yeah. back up. Back up. Nox will move to uh, one behind Tibbles, Nice Tibbles. That now? Uh, yeah, that's that's all good. Okay. Uh, actually, just put me behind, put behind Tibbles. Like that way? Uh, that one. Because I think, are we going to go into this room yet? Like here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, try to move forward and attack Nox. Yeah, okay. Uh, 23 to hit. 23 hit. That's a nat 20. <laughs> I'll do everything in my power to save Nox now. <laughs> 8 piercing damage. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's only got okay. 14 health. <laughs> 14, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Nox is near death. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, tribe just a bit. <laughs> having seen this, Arca's going to um, just so kind of whack that. The, the options are still fairly limited with things around there, but the last firebolt seemed to work pretty well, so another firebolt goes from the uh, mule-mounted cobalt. Uh, 18 to hit. Hits. Uh, another 5 fire damage on this one. Steps incinerates in combat. Oh. Cool. I'll move back up. So probably yeah, next to Tibbles here. Do you two want to move up at all, or? Yep. Are we still in initiative, or? No. no. no I'll move forward then. Yeah. Um, I didn't realise we still in initiative. I thought the initiative was somewhere we'd be preparing for the next initiative. Okay. Um, can we move forward a little bit, or stay where you are? Yeah, well, we've got that chest that we've got. So we'll have to, you know, load oh, that up onto okay. Rucio and... So, I could just kind of rides over to the chest full of stuff and. Oh, I've got it like under my arm. Oh, yeah. So, you know, Arca rides up and throws open one of the saddlebags to just empty it into. Yeah. I say hold it on. How big is the chest? It's a chest. <laughs> yeah, but like. All right. It's a big chest. I'm just bigger than Arca. It. I'm going to throw it at the next thing we see. Okay. But after emptying it? Oh, yeah. I've poured okay. it into the saddle pack and now I'm kind of just like <laughs> holding it on my shoulder, I'm just waiting for something. Okay, what we have? Uh, the house right directly north of us is my intention. I don't know what everyone else is in. I'm happy. Yeah, there's a couple of windows and there is a door. Do you want to open it? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm feeling footsie in this one, so <laughs> I'll, I'll take the open the door. I'll check for traps and open the door. 
Excellent. It's not budging. It looks like it's overgrown with vines. Uh, does anyone have an axe that would get rid of vines? <laughs> In that case, I step up. Yeah. Uh, Arka is just kind of holding, like, as far as possible from all of the buildings, so, like, perfectly in the middle of things, and just getting ready to throw more firebolts at things, since that seems to be working fairly well around here. 19 to hit the door. Sorry, and Vox is yes. taking a ready to action to cast Eldritch Blast at anything that moves, just because she just got hit by something. So. Uh, 12 plus 4, 16 damage to the door slash vines. You utterly obliterate the door. And you hear some groaning come from inside and some shuffling. Okay. Roll for initiative. Got nat 20, thank you very much. 24, so. 7. <laughs> Other end of. Uh, and nat 20 as well! <laughs> um, plus 2 is 22. 8 for Kiara. 18 for Zor. Oh, it's high initiative. 16 <laughs> for Zor, 22 for Master Tibbles. Uh, no, Master Tibbles is like 26 or something. Like that. What um, Nox got 20 plus 2 is 22. Uh, 24 for Master Tibbles. 4 for Parker. 7. 7 and 8 for Kiara. Uh -huh. No idea if my sub counters are ready to fireballs or anything, or just. We'll see what happens. Open Master Tibbles is up first. Yeah. What does Master Tibble see in front? Master Tibble will see three staggering, moving around, sort of zombie like, but made out of ash. Definitely. Uh, ash. Um, Master Tibbles will sidestep to the right and through and put myself in between two of them. So, like, yep, yeah, that's exactly there. Ooh, there is fire up. Let me see that. Ooh, I like fire up. Oh. Interesting. And we'll take a strike at the one uh, to the right of it. The twenty six, twenty twenty three to hit. It's does five damage, and then we'll use an offhand attack for fifteen to hit. It's and so it's the same one. Seven additional damage. Seven additional. Okay. Well, that's time. We're going to take damage. Constitution saving throw for yourself. Oh. Oh, what happened? Hit them with rage. Uh, 12 damage. 12. Oh, There's a lot of ash coming off it. It just comes out and will wave around you. Well, Jelt, do you give ash? It gets in your mouth. <laughs> I'm yelling this at you because you're probably the next person to do. Nox is up next. Uh, Nox will. You guessed it. <laughs> uh, 16 plus 6 is 22. I imagine that you're going to hit. Yes. Oh, thank you. Three plus four is seven damage. To the one straight in front of you. Go on, Governor. Mm. I'll move forward and then go inside the house. And I'll try and get up next to Master Tibbles. Well, but you don't even need to get through because I'm flanking. So if you're in the doorway, you can hit the one that's right in front of Cat, and you can. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'll do that then. But jump to the right hand side so that the rangers can still get past you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll do that to the right hand side. I can't take you out of the building, unfortunately. You're in the building now. You you are where you are. <laughs> and then, and then I take a bite. Well, yeah. I'll take a, try and take a bite out of the closest one. Mm -hmm. Should have advantage on that because now I'm flanking. Yeah. And you're within five feet, right? Yeah. So it's like a pack tactics. That's the intention of my move. Um, 
So that's 20 to hit. 20 hits. 6 plus 2 plus 3, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 piercing damage. Yes. And it's a. Does it count as a creature? Um, I think so, I think. Yeah, die wolf is Yeah, well, then it's a DC 13 strength saving throw. Okay, cool. It falls apart, the axe just falls down in front of you. Yes, that's it. So you willingly put it in your mouth, it's con save, no problem. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> Um, that is 18 plus oh, <laughs> Can you choose between a bite attack and a, like a slash attack? Oh, just bite. Just oh, the, the stats bite. You probably flavor wise you can, but yeah. yeah. Okay, the one next to you, Master Tibble, is just happening. Yep, cool. Tries to slam into you for eight. Does not hit. <laughs> Come and get me. And he comes down to slam into you as well. Perfect. For 17. Does, uh, sorry, 17 does hit, but I use my stuff, slam it into the ground, and it doesn't hit. Hear a banging coming from this door. The door on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Okay, this window. It's just an open hole in the wall, it's no glass. There's a bit of glass, but it's mainly broken. How big are we talking? Like I can punch the chest through it. You were going to throw a chest just through the window. Yes, yes, it would fit. Right, I shot put the chest through the window, <laughs> trying to hit the one to the right of Tibbles. Okay. Now, how does this work? I'm assuming it's just an Un unarmed... Unarmed attack would be the most sensible thing. Because that's yeah. what you do with the first and second. Yeah. Okay. Improvised weapon yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. What is my... Yeah. Okay, unarmed strike. Oh. That plus five to hit. I get a 17 to hit. <laughs> That's super cool. I love yeah. this. Yeah. And it's just the D4 of damage as I just punch a chest through the window. Damage. Yeah. It like... On save as well for Master Tibble. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> can I like, kind of punch it so it like the opening hits the zombie? Sure. Yeah. A natural one. Oh no, 7 roll, plus 2 it. is 9. No. Nine would fail. So Ashtar doesn't get like caught in the chest. <laughs> like I'm trying to like, yeah, you just buy it and you can pull it. It blows out from it. Okay. <laughs> like I'm happy. I'm going to punch the chest of the zombie. Oh, yeah, you see the chest fly through the window. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. Same throw. You've got a disadvantage on attack roll, saving throws, and ability check for one minute. Okay. That's fine. I'll take that. And you repeat the saving throw at the end if you want to. Alright, uh, Archer. So if we ride, like, you know, one spot just south. East ish just to get a line of sight on the north of the zombies. Tilts the head to one side and then spits a ball of energy that just keeps flickering between colours. Which hits the back wall yeah. with an eight on the attack. Eight hits. Eight hits. Okay. <laughs> It's gas off the wall. It's the zombie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, chaos bolts like that, I guess. Okay, so that is 11 points of... 4 or 5. Let's go with uh, 4 damage. To Master Tibble. 
Master Tibbles will. Uh, which one looks worse out of the two? Doesn't matter, I've got disadvantage on my attacks, so um, I'll hit the one to the right. To the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's the one that I will hit. So bring out, so it'll be 10 and. So 10 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 damage. And then with my second attack. And it is 10 to hit, hits, no, as is 8, 7 damage. Okay. Not down? Let's just say it wavered for a second, but then pulled back up. Yep. <laughs> Eldritch Blast from Nox. Oh, Nox, yeah, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> it is. What's that number two? Uh, yes, but it's a one, so it doesn't do anything. Bounce off the wall. Do you mind if I grab a glass of water? Uh, go for it. Thank you. Top left of the glass. Who's walking? Oh, it's, it's all done, Gavin. So. <laughs> That's the nearest one. Yep. So, top one. Uh, you anyone within five feet? Yeah. Yep. If you position yourself right. Oh, because he's a direwolf. If anyone's within five feet, no matter where. Oh, okay. I'm five, five feet of the target as well, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter on positioning so long as it's both within range. Let's just get around the other side and then I get a damage. Um, so that's 15 hit. 15 hit. Six plus two plus three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, piercing damage. Eleven piercing damage. And that's a con save, right? Yeah, I'm knocking over. Oh, for me as well. Yeah, it's yeah. really now. Well, no. Uh, that's 18. You, you no, 13. Alright. Uh, this one's attacking Master Tibbles. Or a 9, which misses. Master Tibbles. Or a 19, that hits. Two blighted wounds, Master Tibbles, and that's back. Throw a cow on that. Wait, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll remind him when he gets back. Yeah, you hear a bit of a crash bang as the sword comes tumbling down. Tommy comes staggering out. Attacking his old one Six doesn't hit? No. No. Got a one armed. Eight doesn't hit? No. Okay. You got two physical damage too. Okay, thank you. And three zombies. I might seem to hit the fuck out. Oh, oh three more zombies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, five damage and slam for the doors on gunner. Slam? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I jump through the window? Or is it not quite big enough for me then? How big are you? Like <laughs> a petite little human girl. Ah. If no, I'll just walk around. Be acrobatics. Nah, I'm just gonna walk around. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk straight up. Door's not that very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you failing that and falling ass over tip. <laughs> I can't come in through the door. Why not? Oh wait, no, I have to. I have you to hit in the door. You open the door with the axe. You broke the door down. Yeah, but like on this, I have to open the door and roll 20 before uh, I can go through it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I had the mine. Weird. And I just take a swing at Zombul number one. Actually, I'm going to rage. Well, seems like we're about the right time to do that. And when I do that, you see like a wolf tail like pop out. But at the end of it, it's got like these weird spikes at the very tip of it. Okay. And I take a swing at Zumble number one. Which is a 19 to hit. Hit. And I guess slashing. 10 plus 2, so that's 12 damage. 12 damage. Okay. Is 
Thorburn Gardner and Kiara Honzo, please. 21. Uh, 16. Five. Arco. So, um, Arco rides across just to be directly south of the door for a bit better of a um, shot on things. And, well, there seems to be that one just closest to the door that gets another shimmering bolt of every colour just thrown straight at its face. That is a 21 to hit. Okay, so that is 17 points of seven or four. Force damage. How many points? 17. 17. It's absolutely obliterated. Puff of ash goes everywhere. Handful. Chaos bolt nasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Master Tibbles is currently surrounded by two live ones. Yeah. Right. So the one that I, I hit to the right was, looks really damaged. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll hit that one again with my. Start of defense, a magical weapon, 23 to hit. Yes. That puts you on the screen. Uh, six damage to that one. Okay, then I ash for that. Ashes to ashes. And then I move and I hit the one straight above me, 19. Yes. Oh, sorry, I should be doing that as disadvantage. 15 still. That's for. Clary, uh, the other one was nine, so I hit it as well. Um, it is also damaged. Okay, cool. And then can I move uh, up to right beside Ron? Yeah, uh, up, up north. Yeah, so that we've got advantage on all of them. Um, plus one additional. Okay, Knox. Knox will do a Eldritch Blast. Straight through the center. Probably at the one. It had to be the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it had to be the first one. Yeah, it's 18 plus something or other. I'm looking at the wrong sheet because <laughs> their sheet is in, up on top of me. Spells. And what do they do? Eldritch Blast is weak. That's right. Is. Uh, 9 plus 4, which is 13, which is the ones that first one. 13 damage for them? Yeah, 13 damage. Okay. And a Conso for Thorgon Gardner and Master Tibbles. Master, oh, Master Tibbles. Tibbles is already infected. Master Tibbles is up north as well. It would be. Um, the two that's right beside that is Thorgon Gardner and you. I'm down. I'm still at the doorway. Uh, it's everything within 5 feet. Yeah, yes. so that would be good one no, that's six. Yeah, no, it was the one below that. Did I already kill that oh, one? That one's dead. I think I already um, killed that one. Oh, I'm not gonna kill that one. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I? Mm. Ah. Okay. Well, in that case, yes. I'll tell. Oh, well, I'm already. You just said exit this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just killed them without thinking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Comsai for Zorbon. Ah, uh, six. Six is a fail. So you've got disadvantage on attack roll, saving throw, ability check for one. Um, so I take it blight out of the closest one. Disadvantage. But advantage, so straight yes, roll. Oh, straight roll pack, yeah. yeah, poison plus good, pack tactics. Good call. Get out. Uh, that's plus five, so 13 to hit. Hits. One. One. Uh, so that is... Five piercing damage. Five piercing. That's the end of my Yeah. It is the zombie's turn. It's going to get some good calls there. It's going to be attacking Master Tibbles. Hit me. Baby. Slams into you for a 20 to hit. I'll take the damage. For two blood wounds. All right. This one's attacking Zorgon Gavner. Slams into you. 
90 hits. Yeah. Is this on the chain? Yeah. Tiara. I take a step forward and take a swing. For 15 to hit. Hit. And deal 7 plus 2, 9 damage. It sort of wavers, falls, and then gets back up. Damn, it says undead. That's a stupid thing. Alright, it said much better. Okay, that's what we'll do now. Okay. We won't take it back up. Like, with undead, unless they hit like holy magic, they have a wrong to just like not um, go down. So, just looking at how this is going, Arca's just gonna stay there, still on Brucio, and just. But it's a firebolt this time, just since they don't seem to be too worthy of level spells. With an at 20. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yep. And destroys. Do you do double the dice or roll double dice? Depends on the group. What have we been doing? The group has to decide the whole. Uh, it's double dice. It's not the double the dice. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Rule, rule written that actually says to roll, to roll double dice rather than. But yeah, but I'm aware of that double dice. Yeah, so that's <laughs> twelve fire damage. That's what we've been doing so far. So. Twelve fire damage. It is obliterated. It is definitely active. But who has hasn't failed their constitution saving throw out of three? I'm still here. Roll a constitution save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thirteen. White down. I think your screen's broken. Master Pibbles. Um, Master Pibbles will hit. We have to start the defense. Big thing with stick. Stick. 20 to hit. Hit. Uh, 6 plus. Oh no, I've got others, so that's plus that. 10 plus to 12 damage. Damage, okay. Back to that same vibe. Nox. Oh, sorry, I should have rolled that at disadvantage. Um, just one second. Yeah, uh, that's still not up, so it's not fun. Nox Elders Blasts, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah. Uh, Nox is initially, is actually, now that's seen the tide, he's going to do a investigation check. Is an investigation sorry, check an action? No, Elders Blast. <laughs> uh, Elders Blast is coming up. He just wants to make okay. sure that we're not ambushed by someone coming up behind us at the same time. Uh, roll's not necessary. There's nothing going on. All right. Well, in that case, <laughs> you know, uh, that plus six is twelve, and damage-wise, it is ten plus four, fourteen damage. Not says the thing that lets you add the ability modifier. Yeah, something about like there's plus four here, and I was reading it as features or traits, but yeah, it's a uh, elder invocation that lets you. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, like spending one of the wallet customization things on superpowering the um the main cantrip. Yeah, you can make some stupid things with it. Yeah, there's like pushing. There's my oh, favorite yeah, one is no. where you double its distance and then you're a spell sniper yeah. and you just shit get everything. And then you take three levels of sorcerer to get um or well, you know that one feat to get um extended spell. To double it again. So, investigation in two rooms? Yep. Did okay. no one hear that, Roth? No, I did. That's why okay. I looked up. Was that an in-game yes, diegetic noise? Okay. Well, like, so Arca <laughs> staying on the outside and just, you know, trying to keep an eye on things is now looking around for what thing did noise? <laughs> it came from the east. Can't see anything? Uh, I whistle the dogs to get them because there's, there's no roof on this, is there? Is it? Is there not? I think there is on this. Are we still in? If there is, I whistle or... the dogs to get in. No, I'm back in. Okay. okay. There's there's no window on the east wall at all, or Arca is just gonna like no, 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 go back to the uh, west a bit just to be a little further from that. This is view three. All right, uh, west. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. There is just. Keeping an eye out, but not being at the front. Okay, Nox is jumping into the house to hide, to make sure that it's... <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, so a weathered signboard by the door of this large building shows a faded image of a walker, workhorse, but holding a flagon of ale. The building is sagging and dilapidated, but it's more than intact than the ruins across the road. Okay. 
So it's still got a roof and everything on this one. Okay. Um, we've got a minute. Yeah, I'll be able to see what damage is against everyone who failed. I mean, you know that you're just kind of coughing at this point and just kind yeah, of... Yeah, so until that coughing subsides, I think we're just going to take a breather in here. And I'll have to do an investigate, see what yeah. do, a, do an investigation check on the... The location while we listen and figure out what the hell's going on. That's not bad, 17. So just I'm looking inside what I'm guessing is a tavern just you're to see anything. You're just looking for another chest to throw up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I have nothing. Yeah. Not even in the other room? No, the eastern half of the building was the old common room, while the western portion holds the kitchen, the brewer's vats, the huge wooden tongue stand on twist, and a faint smell of yeast still permeates the air. The ale is long gone. So, so we'll just do we want to go east? Up on the window sill and like looks over the window sill, see if there's anything. <laughs> can you zoom out yeah. a bit so that we can see like yeah. just what are the other buildings around that we can kind of actually see? So there's a bunch down south that we haven't even touched. Yeah. The roar was coming from the east Correct. somewhere. I'm guessing from up above the hill. Because it's, it's a hill, the middle of this is a hill, so kind of curving up and around. So. Okay. So we're looking for this bloody druid, and we just, like, we've got to go into every room, place, to find I'm out guessing. this, this yeah. druid. All right, which one do we want to tackle next? I say we go straight down. And hit the one straight below us, which we haven't hit. Yeah. Okay, so follow, basically follow the road along, is kind of the... I'm guessing. It's the best we can do. Anyone ejects? But we're going to sneak. Yes. <laughs> you have to roll for all you would. 14 for me, and then for the dogs. I just kind of roll them as one. Yeah. Natural 20, 28. Okay. So Arka's just staying at the back. Do you want me rolling sneak or just like put, just staying? Pretty much bearish, really. Um, I think everyone's moving south. Are you just going to stay there? Um... I think the plan was to investigate that immediately south next building. Yeah. So I think Arca's just kind of yeah, that, yeah, that staying there and just keeping an eye towards the east for the most part. So what did the raw sound like? Like we have it. You gotta play it again. Zula von Wolf got fourteen for stealth. I would like to do a perception check on that raw and see if I know what that raw sounds or reminds me of. Mm, Makes a check. Oh, can Zor do that as well? Nature check is... I mean, you know what it is. Okay, I got a two, so I don't imagine that's anything. No. Roll your nature check. Get the creature of some description. <laughs> Arca being dragon blood sorcerer and speaking draconic would... Would know if it's... Would Arca know if it's draconic? Very high chance, but you'll get advantage on a roll. Roll, roll your nature check. I mean... Ooh, good thinking. Okay, it, it, it. yeah, so for nature, that is just a unnatural 20 for the nature check. I uh, got a 19. Between the two of you, you work out plus okay. I need you to check that. Draconic as well. Very cool. Nice. A 19 and a. What was the other one? Unnatural 20. 20, 21. Okay. So between the two of you, work out it's a green dragon, it's probably a young one. Mm -hmm. Okay, just starts running over. Uh, that was, that was dragon. Is another dragon here? I I immediately look at Arka, the other the other kobolds. Yeah. So Arka shouts out in common to the rest of the party of that noise was a dragon, and um. Let me just find the... Do I want to throw hands with the dragon? And then Arka calls out in Draconic as loud as possible. Actually, let me just check if um, Press Station does the voice thing. I think so. No, it's only the Somaturgy that does the voice thing. Unfortunately, so I can't do the magical amplification, but Arca calls out in Draconic, um, Hello, uh, nice friendly dragon, come not eat people? Hello? 
Uh, we are friendly. I am also dragon. You can come and we speak. And I effectively have expertise on charisma checks involving dragons. I am staying inside this house. As much as I want to throw hands you, you, you've heard Arthur refer to it as a dragon. Yes, okay. Arthur shouted out that that noise was a dragon. Okay, so I know it's a dragon. And then started yelling something else in Draconic. Still would have found his bloody druid. Had he got no well, idea. I mean, if he's nearby and we get attacked by a dragon, druid might come help him out. Might be a dragon. Well, we know it's the east. So maybe we skirt around and we try to go from building to building and try to... Yeah, well, I think the dragon's about to come for us, so... So we're staying in this building, or are we moving? The I'm, the alive. <laughs> I'm staying still until I see this dragon coming at us. I'm making a. Are you going out of the room as well? Yeah, aren't you? she's yes. in the. Oh yeah, yeah. Room. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there, still on my mule, just Which... shouting out in draconic to this dragon. Or all the god. Heard or seen anything? Hmm. So just the law. You don't necessarily know. You haven't seen it. You just shout out to the wind. Heard it enough to know that it was a dragon. Cool. Cool. Young green dragon. We don't hear any wings, heavy footsteps. No nothing. No nothing. Do we want to try and go down? Look, we've got to make it work. Like, yeah. What are we going to do? Live so in this house is for that <laughs> circle road in the middle of the map around the base of the hill? Yes. Implying that 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 shape up there is the stone tower. Yep. Yeah. Oh. This path heads up to the hill. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That goes up the hill, and that's the tower. Do you know anything about drag? Like, would it use that as its spell? Like, something on the hill? Would that be its... Yes. I think there's a bandage to everywhere. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe if we stay down the bottom, then... At least for now, yeah. Right, let's let's go house to house until we find out where we maybe use our best bet. Or something. Since, since we kind of know it's a green dragon, um, what... Type of personality do green green dragons usually have? Uh, green dragons are one of the evil types and the poison ones. Because um, I think like the white ones are like hunters, and mm. other ones are like arrogant and such. Yes. Is there like one color that won't eat us on site? Bronze. Uh, metallic. Cool. This is not that. Okay, so we sneak down to the next okay. house. And I think Arca is going to install Rusio in the kitchen of that former tavern, just, you know, <laughs> tied up somewhere to not get... What, you don't want your mule eaten by a dragon? <laughs> well, we don't want the bank eaten. Yeah, well, we can, take, we can offload the bank off. Put the mule on put depends, the mule on what, the... depends on what eats yeah. the mule. Like, if it's a single bite sort of situation... Plus, we've got a lot of gold there. So we're leaving the mule in the house, yep. undercover, yep. chained down to a peg so it can't run off. Mm -hmm. We're moving down to the house in the next house. We can just close right. the door on it. Uh, I think Rusio is trained to like not run off if left somewhere. So Zorvan Wolf got a natural one for a total of five stuff. Excellent. Then everyone else got rolled higher. 14 for the Kiara, 16 for the dog. Since I'm now joining in that, I got a. Uh, Six plus a low number. Um, six plus two. We might be able to Eight. sneak around and up the mule to find yeah. this druid. Young dragon. Um, and you, we've got a dragon on our side too, so it's fine. So two plus two. <laughs> like sure. To not send twenty to me. Just Look, Arka is very clear on this. Arka is a young blue dragon. So three. No one's heard anything. We are down to this building here? Uh, yeah. Yep. And Arthur as well, somewhere else? Yep. Still hanging at the back, just not, you know, sitting oh, yeah. on the mule. We're staying a little distance from Arthur because she's the one yelling at a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going out into the world. We, we get attacked by a dragon. Zor knows that he's not a dragon, but he's envious of dragons. Um, so, yeah, what's going on with the house? Uh, it's one of the ones that looks like it may have been a shopkeeper previously. All right. So there's nothing else there. Jump in, do an investigation roll, and then we'll move on to the next house. Uh, 
Um, you find nothing. Okay. Do we want to go down to the down the road, or do we want to follow around? I think we. I better go down just to make sure. Yeah, let's. Like we got to hit every house. We got to hit every house if we find this druid. So. Yeah. Where's the wolves, by the way? They're just following along with me. Yeah. So we'll go into the house to the left. Being further away from the tower is a better thing, I thought. Yeah. Do we want to split the party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that person we split. <laughs> go and talk to the dragon. <laughs> we'll give us a sneak attack. <laughs> while, while Arthur distracts it, we can all surround it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you get wolves, <laughs> I've got a friend too. <laughs> so we have like three wolves and a pet, like a green dragon. Dragon, a dragon, a green dragon. That would be so cool. I don't think we'd be able to. Pretty sure that. Arthur no, could yeah. that. <laughs> no we, we should have tried to tame the Dalbans as well. Don't think that was going to happen either. Pet the dog though. Um, sorry, sorry Dan. Did, did you say anything about that house? That... Yes. So the house in front of you, this one over here. Yep. It's a small house. It's in better condition than the dilapidated structures nearby. Okay. The doors are reinforced with heavy iron bands and thick shutters protect the windows. All right. I start scraping at the door. Not on the door. Boring at the door. Yep. Okay. Not Remember, you are looking like a dire wolf and a stranger is about oh, to open yeah. a door on you. It's a big druid. Okay, the door opens and you see this lady coming to the door. And you're like, Bye. I lie down like on all fours. Like, like a dog. Well, aren't you an odd one? <laughs> Welcome. Do you need assistance? Very much so. I was talking to this one. Arthur is just hundred percent watching the other direction, probably off towards the tower and up. Yeah. <laughs> Bit distracted. I'm guessing she can talk <laughs> to animals, so she should be able to stand. Direwolf. Oh yeah, this is the druid, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is just somebody who has a really cool fox. Maybe the fox is the druid. <laughs> that is entirely possible. Given that our druid is the dial one of the four direwolves. Bonjour, are you, is your name Ruedios? It is. Ah, uh, we have been sent here by Coraline. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, we are seeking some information around the local area and we came this way, but we did not realize there was a dragon around. Hmm. It is not safe out there, and she looks around and says, so. We maybe come in? Yes, please come in. I have tea. Are we all going to fit? Yes. <laughs> that's one, four, two, three, die four, four die wolves. Exactly. Five, six, seven. The wolves can stay outside. Are they going to get eaten by the dragon? Prudent. I do believe they have just left to go get food. Okay. It is about that time. I pat, like, each of the three. Are there, like, any bushes around? You can send uh, them back up the road again. Across the park. <coughs> I get them to, like, try and, like, huddle in under the bushes and kind of lay down. <laughs> It's like they're hiding, but also keeping an eye out. Mm. I I go and like circle around behind the building. Oh, you can come out. No, I, I'll like while I'm the wolf, I'm okay. just going to like look around the building, and see if there are any other ways in or out. Or there is another door on the side. Oh, okay. For the time being, I'm oh, just scouting that place. Oh yeah, that looks big enough for the wolves to come in. Yeah. Okay, you already yeah. had some. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring them in if you want. Nah, it's fine. I'll just as long as they stay hidden and don't get attacked. Um, so dragon and the dragon puts in. <laughs> and you're all dead. Just carry <laughs> carries me off like a cow. <laughs> uh, is all gone. Gavin joining in the No, I'm just staying outside. Uh, Arka just kind of looks up at the sky, up at the tower, and it's like, so dragon friend, they live in tower on the hill, or? Yeah, so they... Young green dragon has moved in recently. That's what it sounded like. You talked to? Mm, have not talked to them. I prefer it if they leave. They're very brash. Not very nice. Mm. Yeah, green Their dragon. Name... Green dragon's not as good as blue. No. Their name is uh, Venom Fang. Venom Fang. Mm. Do you think mm. you can move them on? You do seem like bold adventurers. 
Uh, could make you friend. Friend is the right word. But like, we can say hi. Um. Also, why are you like living in a dilapidated village with zombies and crazy plant animals? FYI, oh, just check. I do not have a line for that. <laughs> Ask another question. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the okay. chillest place to live, even though she's a druid. But so like, you just live where you live. You mate, grow up here. Like, I mean, druid might just be responsible for the plant monsters. Yes. I'm monsters. trying to make amends to the area and bring it back to what it used to be. Like you did something oh, here and you're trying to fix it? Thing? Venom uh, thing. Venom thing. Venom thing. No, I was not in the thing. Okay, and what are you trying to fix? Friendly. Friendly or like, you are know, okay if we hack and slash or like not okay? Everything has a balance. You like looked at my axe and kind of like <laughs> sap dripping off it. Okay, will you help us remove said dragon? Oh, I don't think there's anything I can do. I have already talked to them. They do not want to join me. Oh, you know, like our version of talking is like throwing hands. I see. That might work for them. Um, we are looking for some information about the Dragmore Castle, and Caroline said that you may be able to help us mm. find that or know that or where where Cragmore Castle is. I do know the location. Why do you need to know it? There is a friend who hired these these people here, who has taken off by by grub goblins uh, with weird glowy eyes and magic. With weird glowy eyes and magic, if you know anything about that. And we are looking to try to find the dwarf. Thought we knew where Castle was? Went there? Uh, just Hungry Owlbear instead? No castle? So we are trying to find it so that we can find the person who hired it so that we can solve the mystery of what the hell is going on in this area. With the, the goblins with the funky eyes. If you know the answer to that, that could be helpful. Your cause is just. Thank you, we think so. I'll be able to show you where it is. You could do something for me. And does that thing have anything to do with a dragon that may have a venom and a fang in its name? <laughs> that is it. Ah, and so the circle of life continues. You can move it on. You got it. Can you give us any information about this venom fang? Uh, it's just a young green dragon. Have you seen it before or dealt with him? I, I have not. Do you know much and about the green dragon, the, the, the venom okay. thing? Not about that one. Uh, no, that green is not as good as blue. Uh, <laughs> but could be useful friend. We take maybe convinced to eat some goblins, convinced to eat some necromancer. Does the venom thing seem like a friendly type? No. Oh, maybe that's uh, not a good plan. Green dragons are quite cunning and treacherous. So yeah. Usually trickery is their magic. So do you do they take? talk to them? Did they say why they're chilling here in an abandoned place with, like, I'm guessing, no food, no treasure? Mm, there is plenty of food around for them. There's mm. forest. They forest. do like the tower. It is a nice lair, as they said. So oh. if we blow up the tower. We have to do the Mate, I know. tend to explode things. We, we only had one scroll of fireball, by the way. Um, uh, I know of better tower we can take Venom Fang to. So your, your plan to trick the trickery dragon is mm -hmm. to send the dragon to what tower? One with Necromancer in it. Ah, the, the Al, uh, Ogar Tower. Ah. So maybe, maybe that wins. Yeah, my... would, would you would... want to stalk the dragon and put your life on the line to say that? Or would you prefer to hit the dragon before you maybe get hit him in the head? Could talk the dragon. Uh, convince that, you know, better tower, get necromancers, tasty shinies and nicer tower. 
Maybe. We can try. Can't guarantee it'll listen. So our current options are fight dragon and maybe win, or try to convince the dragon to move from current location to another tower. I, I you know, look out the door at the towers, like, because that tower is a bit, like, ruined and everything. It is. And remind me what the tower with the necromancer and all the zombies was. <laughs> the bigger was the vibe I got. It was, I did Tall, yeah. digit taller tower. Did he seem like he had much treasure? Necromancer is always nice. So the, why would the young dragon go from one tower where it's got a, apparently got a foothold to another tower where it's got a nicer fire. tower, bigger? Because that's where they are higher. I like I'm trying to. Right. Well, we can always. We try. I like, can always try and talk while we stay like, around it, and then if it goes wrong, we can yeah. jump. Do we need to make, if, prepare for an attack with a dragon, or do we want to do a few more houses if, and try to kind of? Yeah, the hell's going on. I mean, Do you have anything that maybe you could give us to help us if we decide to fight the dragon versus uh, try to convince the dragon to move on? Not really, no. But I can't heal you if things go not right. Yeah, well, you can heal. We, we do not have to heal us, so that would be very helpful. Um, you so you'd come with us and you'd heal us as we fight the dragon, or you heal us uh, now before we go to the fight the dragon? Be nearby. Okay, okay. It's just... his healer, you do not get boyerism. Near fight. You like you like the boyerism? <laughs> I do like the <laughs> From the cupboard and from me. <laughs> Alright, so do we want to try and send Arthur up to chat to it while we surround the tower? And then when it goes wrong we jump the dragon? Do we sorry, you said the dragon is is gone off currently, gone yeah. off for food? Currently away. <clears throat> should hear it, huh? How long does the dragon normally stay away for? Hours. Do we want to do a quick recon of the tower? Maybe if I try to figure out what the tower is like. Yeah. Go up there, do a recce, and then maybe come back here. Worst case scenario, we just spend the night, and then we do the same thing tomorrow, or we go that way. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're cool. You're cool. Yeah. We check yeah. tower. All right. Let's is do there, it. Sorry. Before the the other houses in the village. Anything else we need to know about in the area of deadly plant monsters, ash spawn, things that try to kill us as we're trying to have a little look at the tower? There's plenty of them. I know how to avoid them. If you don't attack the plants, they will not get you. They're the plant things? Mm. No, okay. I just put them down as plant creatures. So it's good the to know. building opposite, you point out the door. This one. It's full of giant spiders. It's a building at the very far east of the village. Um, interesting people have moved in there. I prefer they leave because like they people keep to themselves. They wear masks. Red cloaks? Dressed in red? Black masks and cloaks. Like red cloaks? Um, how many of these people are there? Say yes. <laughs> you really like the red color. <laughs> you like the blue color. <laughs> How many of these people are you like? Vaguely humanish, short, tall. Actually, then we saw something interesting. Before, so um, maybe that was right. very. There was dwarves, humans, and a few different races among them. Have they been interacting with the dragon? Mm, I've seen them go up the hill once, and they came back. Yes. So we can talk to the dragon. Ah, they're black. They're black. Black. Cloaks. Black cloaks. Black cloaks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not, not the... Um, they're Mexican. I mean, how will we go with the game here? <laughs> black leather masks and black. Okay. And how many approximately do you know? Half a dozen. Half a dozen. That makes sense. Let's run them. We've got, we've got half a dozen. We've got half a dozen, we've got half a dozen, we've got a dozen, we've got a healer, maybe. Does anyone need the healing now? How are we all looking? I have a, I have a missing five hit points, I'm fine. Okay. That's fine. Nox? Nox is down there, yes. Have you got a sneaky spell that you could maybe give to our friend here? Hmm. What do we now? Yeah, didn't Nox get... Oh no, 
I, I can still I can only check the stats. I'm gonna check the Okay. Yeah, it's taking eight damage. So half of your defense. Yeah, you get a heal yeah. or not. Okay, easy. They're full. Done. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, um because we can either try and cover the dragon now while he's away, or take out spiders and have a chat with the master people while the dragon's away. Do we want to go to the, the master people or do we want to go to the dragon tower? Yeah, if we go tower, then... If the dragon's away, we can check out the tower. Okay, so we go up to the dragon tower, figure out what the hell's going on with the dragon tower, and potentially if we hear another roar, we Skedaddle. skedaddle back down to the druid's house. Or do you want to try and check out the master people to see what they're here for? Because we can fight them, maybe get them to assist, or maybe get the dragon to attack them. Or well, maybe the master people have the information to grab them. Which way do you want to go? I think we get dragon first. Dragon first, and then we'll go to the master people. Yep. Yep. If the dragon's still away, then we're all good. If not, at any point we can skedaddle back to the druids and then make our way to the master people while the dragon's in the tower. Yep. Alright, cool. We're going to go to the dragon tower first, then. Okay. Heading up the hill. Still sneaking. The Arca is at the front for once. <laughs> so it's quite eager. The eagerest uh, cobalt I've seen in a long time. And Zor would be next up. Um, is the Druid coming with us to potentially heal us, or is she staying back in her? You did see her leave the building, but after that you haven't seen her. She really Damn Druids, you can it. never trust the Druid. <laughs> They're sneaky. You're a Druid, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You, you want person who heal us to be out in open, nice and visible? I'd like to see the person What's to the know that. What's the point of if you don't know how to take damage? You know how to get hurt, you know how to fix it hurt. So we're at the halfway of the house. <laughs> Not king shaming. At the top of the hill stands a round tower that twenty to attack. Both are in relatively good condition, although half of the tower's roof is gone. A door leads into the cottage, and several arrow slit windows are visible in the tower. You notice an eerie quiet in the area, and a strange acrid smell in the air. The corpses of two giant spiders fall near the edge of the pathway, apparently throughout death. Their bloated bodies are puckered and blistered, and appear to be mauled by a large animal. Oh, oh yep. Green dragon. Uh, this is looking green dragon. <laughs> Can I take a closer look at the spider? Can I see what type of spider it is? Big. Giant. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just a giant spider. Yep. Which you can transform into now, because you've seen it. Oh, yeah, good call. I'm gonna... Is the window there low enough that I could see through it? Is the door open? For you? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably okay. human. Door too <laughs> short. <laughs> uh, okay. Door just unlocked. Get open. Yeah, is it... Like... Door is... Closed, but not locked. Okay. Uh, One more time. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just gonna open the door. My saving throw for that trap is. Okay, Oof, very fun. Uh, the cottage. Uh, the cottage contains dusty furniture draped in webbing, but nothing of value that you can see. Okay. Um, just... And there's a door at the other side? Does that look like an external door or just a... It looks like an external door, same as this one, and there's another door over here. Ah. Like the tower. I will step over to that door and... Open it, peeking in curiously. Anyone else going in front? Uh, I'll just, I'll be with, um... I'll move up, like, to the doorway, but I won't go in. I'll just move towards the doorway, so I can kind of, like, yell at Arthur if I need to, but also keep an eye out for everything. Okay. You're going, Gardner? I'll stay with Arthur. Okay. Are we dead? Alright. Nah. Just you. Opening the door. Okay, we're in the tower. Well, Arthur and hands on now. A broken old wooden chest on the tower floor. It's visible. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, There's a lot of chest. rubble around. It looks like there's stairs heading up that are now non existent, and the roof is just completely removed. Okay, um. Okay. Just checking around, making sure that there's nothing in there watching me. Just calling out, you know, quite hello in Draconic. 
And then, that um, feeling when you go into your bedroom and you know things have been moved around. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like the dragon's going to come back and be like, because it's not I'm going to right. look over the chest, not touching it, just kind of circling, seeing what I can work out about it. Is it like broken or is it still kind of somewhat? Yeah, cold like you said. Cold? You said broken, but there, that could mean many things. Like, is it broken open, broken like just kind of crap? Open. Broken open. Okay. Can I see anything in it? Yes. Same, oh. piece. Same size as the other chest that I found? Yeah, very similar. Okay. Very similar design. But okay. it looks to only contain gold pieces. That you can see through the broken end. Well, I know what I'm going to do with the chest, but I'm not going to tell you. Um, I think we can guess. <laughs> Master Tibbles is going to the chest. Okay. It's all gone. Going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, okay. is, this is where we've started. We're... <laughs> Tibbles is committed. <laughs> we're in there now. 2,100 copper pieces. Yeah. 130 gold pieces. Four silver goblets set with moonstones worth 60 gold pieces each. Okay. Silver sorry, sorry, silver goblets. Worth what? Uh, 60 gold pieces each. Yep, 60 gold each. Yeah, and scrolls. Two scrolls, one scroll of Misty Step. Ooh. And one scroll of Lightning Bolt. Ooh. Bolt, cool. Uh, do we know what level the Lightning Bolt is and... Is that something you can cast? I mean, if it's a scroll, then I can. No, I, I think there was something about to be able to have be the level. level. We cast it with the so like you blow up. Anything else you want to do in the town? Um, well, you've now committed. Committed. Is there anything else we want to do in the town? Arca just kind yes. of looks and then. Eh, well, maybe Dragon get angry. It's like somewhat detailed. Just a double action. Be nice. <laughs> so we'll go down and check out these other people. I'm gonna grab some charcoal out of my backpack. All right, fuck you. And then draw one of the black masks, like <laughs> on the chest. So you're setting the <laughs> dragon against these other people that may or may not be friends. Can't hurt. Can't, okay, starting to think. All right, so as we go down, because we know, do we know where these other people are? Yeah, that's totally. You were told which building was the Far East building. I'm going to drop some coins from the tower. Okay. It's like a breadcrumb bread trail, like leading back to. I'll remove a hundred silver, a hundred copper of like, like not like drop, drop like breadcrumbs yeah. like Hansel and Gretel, but like you know this one there, that one there, that one there. Okay. What was the second spell? Lightning something? Uh, lightning, lightning bolt. bolt and Misty Step. There's no world. Why not start a bit of drama? Oh god, like, you are just like horrid, <laughs> but I love it. You know, all so many parts. Oh, that's a third level spell. Yeah, it's I spiky. I'll just say the true ones, so they were bad people. Where'd you find the charcoal? I'm assuming I just like picked it up out of the fire. Okay. Sure, that sounds good. Anything else in that, there? That's horrid. Um, shall we go down to the. We're going down to the other, other people then. Do we want to go towards them? How we're long leaving this until the dragon ready? gets? Oh yeah, like we'll head towards them. But do we want to interact with them before the dragon gets there? How long has do we been want to maybe find out if they're like into the village? good or bad, or do we want to just let the dragon? I'm gonna kind of worry. Combat. We've been there a couple hours now, I'd say. Yeah. So I'm um, now back to my normal form. I mean, we can head towards them, chat. But I just don't want to start a fight with them and then Definitely the dragon to join. Them. Okay. Do we want to head back to the druids first? Like you. We'll, 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 can I sneak to get the copper as close to the place yeah, okay. yeah. that they are and maybe kind of like have a look at them so I can get a bit of an understanding of who they are. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, we can save them from the dragon and get good points. So that is a 24 self. So you get all the way down there. Okay, do I see, what do I see about, like, if I'm stealthy now, and there's half a dozen of these things, these these blackened masked individuals? Um, you don't see them. Okay. 
you can see the building that she described yep. in the far east is sitting by itself which is so how far do i get just if i'm kind of like doing that well it's all the way down there so that that house there is theirs and this one is his okay all right this building so i'm gonna there is windows in the door i'm gonna yeah put the trail down that way and then so what room what places are near that as well uh bottom left full left top right. so there's like because maybe if we can like position ourselves in one of those places yeah see whatever happens with them and dragging on these guys because if they're good we save them if they're bad we leave them then we just leave and I, they're not there so i can't okay then we'll go back to the druid Okay. And I want I want to ask the druid what's in these places, knowing that the druid knows the the houses. Yeah, yeah. Um, she can point out the giant spiders in those ones, and the others do have ash zombies and. So sorry, sorry giant spiders in that one, and then ash zombies in the next one. Yeah, ash zombies. Can I just grab your one. notes for a sec, just to yeah, just jump, just go through. You're a lot quicker at writing it down. Well, that's the thing between. Pen and pen. Yeah, I Oh, you don't need that one. Yeah. Um, sorry, giant spiders in that one, which is the uh, the left hand corner. Mm-hmm. Basically, ash completely bottom from where we ash. Up. Okay, where do you want to go? That might be safe. I think we head back to the druids for the night. Yeah, and then just kind of keep an eye out through the windows, just yeah. to see if the dragon comes yeah. back if anyone else moves around. Um, all right, let's. We're we're going back to the druid and waiting and maybe taking a short rest. Okay. Well, if it's night time. May as well, like, just watch throughout the night. I mean, we could, we could sneak around the back and kind of, like, if they're doing, doing things, let's let's keep an eye out. Okay. Yep. Okay. How are we feeling about that? Yeah. About the deceit that has been planted. It's a good idea. And How many copper is... pieces should I be deducting for? I'll oh, just take okay. off a hundred yeah. copper. And in oh, the wow, end, an entire we gold end piece. Up fighting the dragon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We have got well. like over a thousand, no, by the way. We we just pick the copper pieces up at the end if yes. we really want to. The dragon says we tricked them. Yeah, it's a green dragon, so no one will believe him anyway. Well, who's the dragon going to tell? Well, no, but he might go like, oh, you left a message," and they'd be like, "No, we didn't." And they're like, "Well, he's the green dragon. He's lying." All right. Also, where All right. are yeah. we fine with well, me we... grabbing those scrolls, or did anyone else want them? I'll leave with you if you want. Uh, none of us really use spells. I have no use for spells, so I'm between you and I. Sorry, what were the two, Misty Sep? And uh, Lightning like, Bolt. Do you want a Lightning Bolt for some reason, or do you want... Um... You can hold them both, but I'm just... I'll earmark the like, the Misty Step for Nox. Okay. Yep. Until... Like, Misty Step is the one that's, like, yeah. less useful for me, so... Okay, well, then, potentially, that's for Nox when Sam comes yep. back. Yeah. Um... Alright, so you just spend the night, kind of, each taking watch to see if the dragon comes back, to see if he flies towards them. Yeah, until the dragon comes back and we see what unfolds. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So DM, tell us. <laughs> not long after going for your long rest, I'm assuming you went for a long rest. Uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, we would like be we'll, we'll attempting as much rest as we can get until the dragon the, gets the back. At the very least, a short rest so that yeah. I can be 100% healed. Okay. Mark off a long rest. Uh, or is it short? Do we manage a long rest or is it just short, short rest by the time you see you know, something happen? Okay. So you do see the green dragon come home and a lot of roaring <laughs> coming from the east, a lot of screaming. Also, we've seen the dragon head straight to the, like so once we see the dragon head towards them, we're gonna kind of follow. Yeah, and then see what happens. Oh, okay. Yep, you by the time you get there all you see is the place destroyed and they're all dead. They're all dead? Mm. And the dragon is the green dragon's doing what? Oh, he's gone. Did he go he's back towards the yeah. tower? So, we think I go talk to dragon, and if it goes badly, you jump out of bushes? Let's We're... investigate the bodies first. Yeah, let's, like? let's let's figure out what was going on. Do the, do the bodies look burned at all? Or... Well, that's no. the acid. Do they, they look like dissolved at all? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have like a... There's pieces missing. Gonna like check the bodies, check inside the buildings, see kind of what's going on. Yeah, please. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just sacrifice a whole bunch of innocents. It was a new orphanage, so they were setting up <laughs> in the town. <laughs> you see a bunch of baby cribs everywhere. <laughs> the Sisters of Salvation. 
hop in cobalts and <laughs> find new homes. Gosh. Okay, so it's apparently... They're no acid, but they do look like they're being poisoned. Yeah. Okay. Can we get, like, when we check out the bodies, is there, like, any official seals on them? Yeah, so their masks are shaped like a crab. Okay. Oh, yes. And their black paints look like wings. Oh, it's like a dragon claw, I don't care, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my problem, it's these two's problem. I got one of the masks and one of the cloaks. Yeah, do, does one of the cloaks look about oh, my okay. size, or are they all just like... Yes. Yeah, there was a wolf in amongst them, so very small. Do they have any uh, cool possessions on them? You want dragon cloak, or I have dragon cloak? Like uh, daggers and stuff, or anything like that, or, or what weapons, and what's like the... What's yeah, so there is a breeze through and around, all around this small, so I would say the farmhouse. The doors have been ripped off and destroyed. Uh, I can still look on there first. Pretty cool. Big cultists so. inside. All on dead. the ground. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone, everyone's dead, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm just worried about what's Sorry. up there. Yeah. Oh, we're just pretty sure everyone's dead. Well, I mean, like, I eradicated oh, a yeah, I, Are they all dead, or is there, oh, like... All dead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just kind of breathed in the door. Any kind of, like, scrolls, cool thingamajigs? Small bags? Yeah, are there any like notes anywhere or six pieces of paper? Six crystals. And the one that looks like the leader, the paper for Yep. Black mask. He carries a potion of flying. It's a stoppered while around his neck. Oh, okay. okay. Any like notes, letters, reasons why they'd be out here? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so it was on the one that had the potion of flying. There is a piece of paper which looks like orders from a higher up person, mm -hmm. basically stating they are, need to talk to Dragon here to try to get them on their side. Does it say who they are? No spider imagery. Okay, well, I mean... All in all, this has actually been a very clever story. I say we eradicated a cult, which is a good thing. If they're the sort of yeah. people trying to recruit a green dragon. Couldn't have been great people. So, can sorry, I find... How do you feel about a green dragon? I'm just wanting to be very clear about this. I'm sorry. Uh, are you asking the character, or...? You as the character. Yeah. Like... How does Arca feel about How does Arca feel about us killing a green mm -hmm. dragon? The potential okay. of killing a green dragon? Getting rid of the competition. Cool. Oh, that's okay. all we need. So that's, <laughs> that's kind of like a... It's not too bad. Yeah, you're, you're just checking of a... Is this going to cause inter-party... Inter-party friction sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, like... Like, what is your... You, you know, you, like, druid but wants necromancy and... Got yeah. a weird scroll. Also, cobalt, cobalt, different ideas about dragons and yeah, understanding. Like, so, like, just trying to like, figure out. Arca's what you... deal is that she considers herself a dragon as a dragon blood sorcerer who is, like, oh, instead of the usual colors that cobalt's come in, is bright blue, shiny scales. Okay. So, please, blue metallic dragon. Uh, well, enough. blue dragon, yeah. Blue dragon which dragon. is why a lot of the stuff has a tendency towards lightning damage because okay. that is what blue dragons do so yeah arca's whole deal is i am a dragon okay. i'm just a small one that's just getting started and dragons don't want to be near other dragons so so there's yeah. there's normally like, like interaction between dragons especially um different color dragons chromatic dragons that are all just kind of so why did you yell out to the dragon in the first place just so you just like see if i can make this easier than okay like, okay. Yeah. Like, okay. Hundred percent into if we can throw this dragon at the guy who pissed us off, and yeah, that okay. helps the druid. That's a lot funnier. Do and you want to say we ran into a necromancer that had the black masks and cloaks, and then how? Like after the dragon's just been pissed off and burnt all its potential followers. Well, what I'm saying is, they're trying to recruit him. Can we say the necromancer sent them? Oh, can we? Because that would give him even more reason to head towards the necromancer tower. Because does... can dragons read? I mean, Draconic has a written 
form, so but like he sh well, if she can speak to him, I'm assuming he can read. So if you language. if you turn around and had that 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 um the letter, yeah, and said that letter was from, we'd have to add like the name. Yeah, mm. like Haman, and I'm just because the name I've got the name here. Are any of us any good at forging stuff or? Uh, well, it, it would probably be a very heavy deception check as well. So, is anyone good at deception? I want to play that card. Not really. But we could always say, like, we're trying to convince you to go to this tower. There was a necromancer there. He was a weird necromancer, though, because he had a black mask and a weird black cloak, but, like, whatevs. I mean, more reason to head towards the tower. We can uh, try it. I think Ark is going to just try the straight approach at this point so, so can let's, i let's find in game. this house um you know a small bag of some kind or we've got bags do you, do you want a bag from the druid i'm sure if we ask the druid we should have a bag. i kind of want something that's more of theirs oh um actually no i'm just gonna grab one of the spare cloaks like the one that's least nice that we might want and i'm gonna put uh, 50 gold in it mm -hmm. I just kind of carry that as a sack and start up the hill okay. we'll sneak and follow yeah around. I mean that seems to be yeah, yep. yeah. alright yep. we're all healed up we're all good no buffs or anything um, Nox is going to cast uh, uh, mage armor on herself yep and go on up let's do it Dragon. This is fucked. Um, sorry. Yeah, go, go, mate. You're leading this one. Yeah. Oh. Look, you, you bring a dragon along. You get. Is on the front. Yeah, yeah. Very I've much got so. A bunch of spells. I'm trying to figure out how to write this down about like the <laughs> deception and everything. But... I'm with Arthur as well. So you two are going together, staying in the shadows behind, yep. but I'll support you. We'll be like ready to spring out as soon as anything yes. looks going bad. Yeah. The three dogs are with me as well. So as we approach, uh, can... and the druid will follow us as well, if possible. Yeah, it's like weird yeah, voyeuristic. Yeah. <laughs> <She's laughs> yeah, with me. Sorry, you you go. I so, just wanna... can I see the dragon as we approach? No. So standing, you know, a little ways back from the tower, I'm going to call out in draconic. Hello, uh, mighty green dragon. We have come with some assistance, and maybe. Something you will enjoy? <laughs> well finished. <laughs> you do hear a loud roar. Scrambles over the top of the side. Uh, Dorg immediately drops to their knees, starts prostrating, says, Greetings, <laughs> great one. Does he look so, injured at all? No. Doesn't look so, Arka drops the cloak from the cultists with the 50 gold in it, such that it opens and shows off the gold. It's like, we know that uh, people down the hill in Strange Cloaks take your hoard, which is very rude. We find some of it and bring it back. I not know. I can go back and search their house more. I'm small enough, Dragon, to fit inside where you are large and mighty. How dare these... Instant humans mess with you, you're a great one. They're very dead now, you do good job. Is is kind of small tower for good dragon. Uh if you like I know bigger tower that you might like. Very big tower. Has has necromancer in it who has nice things you add to your horde. He uh he very rude to me, which is not good. So he root to small dragon, he must be root to large dragon. He's no match for large dragon. No. He got squish. Very squish. Is that deception roll? <laughs> he he I mean, the cultists. <laughs> I was going for persuasion on the... I'm not actually lying. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm helping you yeah. so you'll get advantage. Is that, is that advantage? advantage? And I get double uh, proficiency bonus. Ah, uh, so that is a uh, seventeen. Okay. I am interested, but I want something bigger, and I want a horde. Okay. Ah, uh, what sort of bigger thing you want? Us. Ooh. 
we thought there was castle, but Necromancer tell us where it is. We go there. There's no castle. Necromancer knows where castle is. Hmm. Necromancer says he knows where castle is. Necromancer, if you, he will tell. He lied to small dragon, but big dragon, nobody mm. can. He cannot lie to big dragon. Cannot lie when squished under big cloth. He not there. Big dragon, too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Green Dragon just looks around. <laughs> Where is the horde? I go back to house they were in, search more, find rest of your horde. How much was in horde? Lots. Make I make sure I find lots, Ben. Leave this ins insignificant work to a small dragon. Yeah, we fit inside the house. We do dirty work. And then we show you where Necromancer is. You have bigger tower now. And then all of Necromancer's horde as well. And then we find even better. Yes? Very better. Where is tower? Um, so you could explain yeah, that, like, like I, I assume I would have been sent up with the map. Are you, like, you, you would have them though. Like, yeah. Have a map for I think you've sketched out something for everyone, but I could leave yeah. it to you. If, if um, I, I'm going to assume that if I'm trying to send the dragon to a place, I would have taken the whatever the, our best map is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I unroll it on top of the cloak and you know, point to. So you we here. Yeah, you could describe it as far as like the, the, the yeah. forest. Like not yeah. the it's it's so I describe the, the location to the dragon as best as I am able. Yep. Excellent. With that, he takes flight and heads in that direction. Well, we didn't even need to get his horde. Don't I worry. told him that he can have the necromancer's horde. Cool. Did he take the cloak with the 50 gold in it that I've laid out? No. So he stands just... up and then just starts dusting himself off. <laughs> I just gotta gather that all back up again. <laughs> keep this for dragon, keep safe. I'm gonna kind of keep my eyes on the sky just for like the next little while. Mm. So, so, to our knowledge at the present point, You've just done a deception on a green dragon, a young green dragon, who is now going to go and kill a necromancer or fight a necromancer in another tower. Yeah. You're, Shouldn't have pissed us off, did he? Your watch is the green dragon fly off into the distance and mutters <laughs> underneath his breath one day. I could just go <laughs> waves. So we've sicked this dragon on two separate <laughs> enemies. <laughs> Are you sure it's an outfit? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, valuable ally. So it's it seems to have gone off to the tower that's been described. It looked like it was heading that direction. Excellent. I'll take it. I mean, that's 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 true. Arco okay, just turns back to where the rest of the group is sheltering. Goes there. We go. Sorted. One dragon to another. Here I'll just kind of clap for a little bit, like I'm looking genuinely yeah, impressed. Super. Like, I don't know what happened. You can't understand Drake one. No, I'm just uh, clapping because the dragon yeah. went the way that we wanted it. Right, because that went out on Drake. That was the yeah. product. Yes. Absolutely no idea what's going no. on. Yeah, so, uh, dragons are told. Off. So, dragon wants rest of its horde back. Wants big, like wants castle. Sent them to necromancer who lie about where castle is. Have that tower. Nice big tower. Okay. Cool. The deception was difficult, but we think it, it went off without hitch. Probably only it, happened because we had two gold bars. So yeah. But fuck yeah, that's that works uh, for me. What not deception? Did not lie to Green Dragon. Green Dragon did what he wanted. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this necromancer still has. What did we loot him first? No, he's still alive. That's alright. We can find the dragon later and kill it and then steal it. Yeah. Or we can clear off now because we can find a castle. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, back yeah, druid. yeah, Druid, yeah. And then once we find um, the castle, just kind we of can go back to the yeah. Necromancer's uh, place. And talk look about. around at the nearby trees and just yeah, kind of address the nearest tree. Yeah. Uh, hello, nice Druid lady. Uh, was that... <laughs> <laughs> was that to your liking? Dragon go to name of tower that I has owl in it. Owlwell Tower? Owlwell Tower. Yeah. 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 Green Dragon go off to Alwell Tower. Uh squish necromancer there who That's insult it. us. Seems like the way it works. Thank you. Greetings, madam. We didn't weren't properly introduced before. I'm Old Alwell. Governor. Was the good wolf at door? Yes, I assume. Like, she smells the same. 
I got told you to stay. <laughs> I'm not sure if that comment on her fault or on wolf. Uh, that's a big compliment in druid culture. Alright, so do you have a map? We do. We definitely I do. Unroll it as the one who just had the So here is where Necromancer Who about to get squish say Castle is. Mm. How much you like? She scrubbed it out and draw the word actually. <laughs> Where is it actually? Oh. Okay. Oh. Not like you're horrible. Okay, so like that's quite a bit 10 15 away. miles away from where we got sent. No, each square is like 25, isn't it? No, five right. miles. Oh, okay. A lot closer to the other thing labeled Cragmore, though, which is encouraging. Makes more sense. <laughs> While they're talking, I'm getting like just some copper coins and stabbing a hole in them and then making a collar for taxes. So love has like a cute little ribbon, <laughs> death has like a bone collar, and now taxes has like a copper coin collar. Like, all the ones, that, like the hundred that got scattered yeah. for this, are now just trophies. Yeah, so now we have love, death, and taxes, and they just got their own little collar. Because death had one of the big, has a bone strung on just like some string. Sorry, I need to just double check. Give me two seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like chat to the druid lady and just see if she can like talk to the dogs to see if they love me back. Oh. Does she have speak from animal speak with animals and patience? She only needs one of them. I'll speak with animals. Okay. Two of them do. One's not too sure. Three's not too sure. You should find out yourself. Oh. I just look at them. <laughs> I like check. Like, did one did one of them like not look me in the eye? We were all looking at you. Arca, Arca just eye. looks kind of smug. Okay, okay. Like no. Arca gets the fifty gold that was in the you know peace offering hoard. Just still inside the cloak, lays it out, and just kind of lies down, nice and comfy. Oh. Um. Do you want to head back to Cragmore now? We've got uh, two options. We can either head back because we're now on the Thunder Tree. Head back down, or sorry, take a long rest there mm -hmm. with the Druid. It's night time now anyway, so. So that kind of makes sense. Do you want to head to Neville and see if there's anything in the shops? <laughs> Ooh, potions and here. Potions. Yeah, we're, we're, we're closer to Neverwinter than we are to Cragmore, aren't we? Oh, we haven't been to back to Neverwinter yet. But... Well, that's where we started. Yeah. You, you two probably, that's probably the only place that we could buy stuff. Yeah, so... I think we can get new equipment and things like that. If you yeah. need something for spell castles, which are like rings of protection and things. Given that we've got <laughs> a bit of money. Okay, so just so that people are aware of what's in. As the mule owner, so we have a thousand and ninety-two gold in cash, uh, two hundred and forty worth of silver goblets, and three hundred worth of amethysts. How are we carrying all this the on mule. the mule? On the mule, like this is this is specifically what those saddlebags are for. Also, uh, with my new boots, I can't be overburdened, so oh, yeah. I can carry this stuff. Oh. Just gets into the like. Lifting strength rolls rather than. Well, like, I'm here, so I can carry stuff. Yeah, but yeah, like, getting stuff to Rusio is. Well, it's not just the, the weight as well as the physically goblets take up a lot of space. If there's like hundreds of them. Okay, well, there's, there's six. Like yeah, there's, or oh, four. Yeah, yeah. there's four goblets which I can carry in a bag about. Were we meant to that, that dragon? Okay. So it looks around for the dragon. Yeah, the issue is kind of Apparently. Not these Arca. Clearly the superior dragon. Okay, so do you want to head back to Neverwinter just to have a look at the shops? Because this is the closest we've been to Neverwinter and probably the closest we'll be for a little while. Yeah, all yeah. the yeah. If If we are attacking Castle, maybe go in even more prepared? Yeah, get some new equipment. Like you don't have to, I'm just thinking it's the closest we've ever been for a while, and I think it's going to be the closest we'll be for a long while. Yeah, not disagreeing. 
We gotta think of the only place that we can actually get anything. Yeah, yeah cause the village didn't really have anything worth buying. No, it had anything on the standard adventuring gear list and nothing else. Yeah. Oh, but one place with potions. I think we're gonna head to Neverwinter just to poke around the shops, see what like, we can find. Reinforce since... Yeah, you know, we found gear along the way, but for about half the party. Yeah. So what do we want in Neverwinter? And Dan, how long are you happy to go for this evening? Oh, normal time. Okay. Kind of normal here, 9 and 130. Maybe just head to Neverwinter, poke around the shops, see if we can find some better equipment. Yeah. Look, basically, there was going to be two big combats this session, but neither of them happened for mm -hmm. reasons. So <laughs> that's what I had prepared. So I'm assuming oh, right. the dragon was one of them. Yes. <laughs> and the, 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 cult. the cult was the other? And we just threw one at the other wow. and then sent him. Wow. And I'm pretty sure that the necromancer was meant to be another big combat of this campaign. So we might have Possibly, also we just. Work out what happened <laughs> that we also just threw a green dragon at. Mind you, we may now have an adult or a young green dragon that comes and hunts us down. Oh, I mean, I'm dead. But like, we have time to get stronger, so it's fine. We, we have time to have a long rest wait. before that happens. Yeah, so we didn't lie to the dragon. No. Like, the dragon did what he wanted. I did not lie to the dragon. I, I rolled it. We manipulated it. Ten <laughs> plus things. And it's which not is my fault that he could read common. He's a dragon. Why would he be able to read common? Okay. So our plan now is to go to Netherwinter. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, and long spell rest. Off our stuff oh. that we've got. Like, long rest in... Thunder Hill, uh, yeah. Thunder Tree, and then do a shopping, a quick shopping. So we can always go to the bank and convert the gold into platinum, so we can reduce kind of like how much weight and weight we have. Yeah. I mean, it's the three thousand, three thousand four hundred copper that we really need to reduce. Yeah, but like we can reduce the coinage yeah. by spending it. You go to the bank that and then well. invest some gold, and then like in a couple of sessions, we get like more money. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's head to Neverwinter. I mean, like we'll long rest with the druid overnight. Long rest with the druid. Um, does the druid have any other information that we can find out of local areas and stuff? Anything else that she wants to give us for solving both both her problems? Mm, nothing else in the general area. Is she impressed with our ingenuity and ability to yes manipulate dragons? I um... does hope it doesn't come back. I asked the druid if she has any diagrams of any like rare animals or anything like that. I mean, you have to see the animals. True, but yeah. But she can shape I'm, 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 Oh, I'm that's druid, pretty cool. Sure, uh, because study she animals as well. Yeah, fair enough. Nothing. She can shape it into a rat. Do you want to small things on the Do you want to be able to turn into a rabbit? Um, might as well. <laughs> That'd go great with the dialogue. Add it to the list. So what have you got at the minute? Giant spiders, owlbear, and dolls. I don't know if you can do owlbear. Uh, I don't think I can do that with owlbear. At least not until like I'm a way high level. Yeah. But you can, like you've got I, that I've in got your got giant episode. spider, mm. direwolf, and squirrel, and rabbit. I'm sure you can get any other small, like, uh, I, and horse. Bigger. Horse as well. Okay. Pure circle plant. Moon. Which is the best one because it lets you up to crit level two, like CR two. Oh yeah, that the one I was thinking of. Yes, like the the one where you overpower your wild shape instead of getting anything else. Yeah. Which is why you could do the shift and attack. Mm, yeah. Good. Cool. All right. Long rest. Chat with her. Say goodbye and off to Neverwinter. And in particular, what are we um, looking for? I, I think we'll just go like, to uh, find like a magic shop. Yeah, see what the magic so, shop has. I mean, Arke is kind of looking at every... Almost everybody else has picked up cool magical items along the way in this, and Arke has... So you I mean, and, had scrolls, you but... probably need to be buffed up as far as your AC is mm. concerned. Yeah. So if we cool. could look at uh, maybe a ring of protection, are you cool with just wearing rings and stuff? Yeah, or... I don't know. Like, my, like my, depends on what we can find in the shops, really. But yeah. let my, me just my thing would probably be if we could get two rings of protection for those two. For those two, that would be. We can see just what else they got from the shop. Or, or like close. See, so we'll see if we yeah. have any like unique synergies or whatever. Yeah. Let's um, go. Found this cool one. Oh, yeah. We yeah. want to be alive to be there and just generate. Well, we want to go to all the shops in the window. <laughs> so we'll keep rolling <laughs> on that table until we find what we and, want. And we do until we find the price that we want. 
And also, while we're going to be in Neverwinter, head to like a bar or two and just see if I had any information on dragon cults that wear masks, just because I want to make sure and just kind of figure out what that whole jazz was. So it was kind of like surface level, nothing too deep. We just kind of have a chat. Um, could we... Uh, I'm just going to sell the goblets and the amethyst to get the gold value of that so that we can yep. like and there was another item which is the perfume which we had five vials of in the previous level okay so i can tell you i found no got a lot so i knock off those two things of items and add 540 gold let's, let's see. um Yeah, so Arca is looking for either um, something like Cloak of Protection, Braces of Defense, those sort of add to defense things, or the various sorcerer specific. Um, like a cool focus that gives you bonuses. Yeah, that. Um, whichever it was of the. That there is. That set of items that are the plus one something, uh, spell casting. Yeah, focus? Bloodwell vial for sorcerers. Yeah, that's the equivalent of a plus one weapon. Yeah, so it just I, looks I don't know what any of that is. So it's just, just like spell out. casting yeah. focus. That yeah, gives yeah. You a bonus to spells. So yeah. how much would that cost? Is it like depends. Magic item prices are officially undefined in the rules as written. Yeah, exactly. it's all just one randomly generated. It all just looks and like see if there's anything interesting or not that he comes that they come across. Yeah, so from his first store we got a plus one chain shirt, plus one shield, half plate, jet, yeah, rope of useful items. What is that? Scrolls of animal friendship, burning hands, control flames, ice knife, lemons, tiny hut, magic stone, scroll of scrying, skill empowerment, water breathing. Sleep armor of resistance and started leather armor of resistance. What's that items thing? The rope of useful items is a rope with patches of various bits of basic adventuring gear. You tear off the patch and throw it to the ground, it turns into that item mm, nice. and can't turn back. It's it's an adventurer's kit that costs more and comes as a jacket instead of a bag. Although some of the items can be bulky oh, and weird. I've heard of that song. It was on Critical Roles or something. Yeah. But, sorry, just to confirm, do you have your phone opposite, like, how much money we've got? Uh, we currently have 1632 gold. In just gold. We yeah. still have silver and... Oh, is that yeah. no, no, that's the total. Like, oh, we have okay. 1557 gold, 15 electrum, 344 silver... 3405 copper okay. but it adds up to 1632 yeah. gold okay so that's that's what we've got uh, what, 1632 yeah that's okay. after selling the um Goblet. shinies goblets and amethysts okay. so out of that we want two items preferably one, one for me one for nox yeah that's that's all i'm trying uh, to that's do we'll look for first yeah yeah if yeah. we can do that for like 800 gold each or something like that you you want to we'll see what we can find um what would nox like Nox would be like AC is something very short. Yeah, like it, we need something defensive or empowering. Yeah, something like that. Or evasive. Or evasive, yeah. Is there like a shot that's more focused on just more Stop magical casting. items instead of armor? Yes. Can we head into that one? Yeah, none of us really wet. Um, no, this one. Generate lots of scrolls. It's a scroll store. Yeah, okay. uh, is there an item like magic, like item store? Yeah, I'd like to get Nox's AC up. Yeah, it's thirteen. Yeah, like with, my AC is fifteen because dragon. So like, I essentially have mage armor from my skin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And mine's fourteen. Yeah. Okay. It's a specific draconic sorcerer thing. Is exactly what would the rule ring of protection cost for the basic ring of protection? I'll, I'll just assume that it's good if you can cast the spell. I mean, yeah, like I'm the sort that has more dragon blood. 
Five hundred gold pieces. Oh, easy. Yeah, yeah. two or three. We only um, need two. Okay, and this was because you. Do you need a unit of protection? I've got fifteen, but so like I've got this. That's pretty defense. So. And I can half damage a tank. Yeah. So I'd say we want to get at least the squishies taken care of so first. Let's let's put in place one ring of protection for Nox. Okay. What do you want? Um. What would a plus one bloodwell vial cost? Blood vial. Bloodwell vial. <laughs> I'm super confused about this. Uh, there's things that I need to look it up. It is now. a magical item that I put some of my blood into. Um, and. It gives me plus one on attacks and saving DC on spells. Really? Yeah. yeah it is. So it's like the spell casting it's the, focus. Like it's the, the sorcerer's one. equivalent of a plus one weapon. Okay, that's super. Like I don't know. Maybe could I put a like I, that sounds cool for Nox as well. Like I don't know which, which uh, way stand with they they would go. need. They, they're like that is the sorcerer specific one. There is a different. Is it like a warlock? There is a whole set. Let me just. Find that list again. Three hundred gold for that. Yeah, we and get two rings of protection and two and focuses. So if yeah. Nox is a warlock, then it'd be you know plus one rod of the Pact Keeper, but essentially the same thing. And oh, rod of the Pact Keeper is in addition you can regain one warlock spell slot as an action while holding the rod once per long rest. Rod of the Pact Keeper costs is that three hundred as well. A basic one? Yeah, the plus one version, yeah. Five hundred gold. Mm. Okay, so we couldn't do all both of them for both of us. We get a loan. Um we can't get we can't get everything for everyone this year. No. Yeah. So is there a quiet as a feral guardian in there at all or? I've just got the name. I have no idea whether it's common or legendary or not. That's right, I found it. That's uh, shirt. Come on, why did you need that? Plus one and two. Sorry, it's downloading. You gotta wait for it to. One I found is 3,000 gold. Huh, okay, yeah. So that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's probably too expensive. <laughs> a little bit. Well, we can get. Well, how, about, how about we set this? Because you need a boost as well. You need a boost, and you also need a boost. You've got 500 gold to spend, spend it on whatever you want. You have 500 gold to spend, spend it whatever you want. If that's a ring or a, a file of the pack people or whatever it is. And Sam will also have 500 gold to spend. And you can let Which, us know when can just ring of protection us, sounds good for that. Yeah, let us know next week. Yeah. And we'll just say he does the shopping at, at this current time. Yeah. Anything that's left over just goes back, back into the bank. Yeah, because we've got 1600, so having 100 and something left would, is useful. Would be fine. Okay. Yep. So. Yeah. No, we're, we're pretty stopped we're, on, like, we haven't three. used any since no, we haven't used any in a while yeah the only thing that's been used is really your one use of the healer's kit yes it's our nine uses so yeah. i think we're good i go and find a jeweler who does custom work and just get my ears tattooed <laughs> <laughs> and see if he can gild an acorn that's worth about 200 GP. Oh, what's that component for? Uh, okay. Well, you'll find out later. <laughs> no, interesting. And for some reason put a fish tail inside of the acorn as well. Sure. That's good to me. I've got no problem with that. <laughs> what do you do well for? A couple of sessions. Um, well, actually, just thinking, if we wanted to expand the funds that lightning bolt spell scroll could probably like as a third level spell scroll it would probably fetch a decent amount and single use items are i mean the fireball was clutch but um 
that's that's up to you. Like, yeah, we've yeah. given you the spell scroll. If you want to okay. sell that, then you can put it into party okay. funds. Or if you want to sell, if you want to keep that for yourself, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that either way. Yeah. How much would I get for the spell scroll of? I used two hundred, so three hundred goes back into the pool. Cool. Okay, so you got your okay, your item. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Because if I swap that scroll for getting the for the five hundred gold ring and the three hundred gold vial, then that would put you pretty good. That would have me set for upgrades. Okay. And yeah, like D and D Beyond does not list spell scrolls by spell; they are just no, by level. Yeah. Oh, sorry, your thing was three hundred. It was yours two hundred. Uh, two hundred and three hundred goes back into the pool. Minus three hundred. Or, uh, 150 gold pieces. Okay, so. Will you sell that? If I sell that, would people be okay with me spending 800 instead of. 800 minus 150 or so? You, you were going to be 500. Now you've gone up 300. You gave back an extra 300. You can take the two. So, the, you can take the 300 of mine. So you give the 300 and then. That, so you've got 800 now, because you're 500 plus the 300. Which would get me both the ring and the blood vial. Okay. So then okay. the 150 goes back into the bank? From no, the no, and then we can say that Nox has 500 plus 150. 650. Yeah. So 650 to spend on whatever. And if anything is left over, it goes back into the... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you spent 200, and I'm spending 800. 800. So I'm going to remove 1,000 from party funds, if you are approving those purchases. We have 632 gold. Yeah, makes sense. So 600 for... Oh, no, that's before I add the 150 back on for selling scroll. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what, what's that leave us with? 782. Okay, okay so, so 650 for Nox? Yes, yeah, so 700 for Nox. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with 7, 750. 700, okay, 700 we're not, for Nox. We're not looking at keeping anything like in the bank. No, we don't need anything. Better, better to put Nox up. Yeah. yeah. Protection and like, a... Sorry, I have... what, what, how much was that? That What was the other thing that you said? The Bloodwell Vial? Blood, no, no, the, the... their version of it. So is that... Uh, I think it says... That was also 500. 500? So, so getting both would be 1,000 for them, which is Not quite more than we have. But, like, I'm happy with... Wasn't this ring 300? No, it was the vial... Bloodwell Vial that was 300. The rings were 5. Okay, yeah. So the ring um, was 5 and the... The rod was five. Yeah. Nox. Okay. So they're going to pick one. So or Nox has to pick the one of the two, and then the other one goes back into it. Yeah. Or, you know, something find else. a or something different else. thing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like, I'm I'm happy with, like, 750, 780 if needed. Yeah. Like, we're not going to find any decent shops before we find the next hoard. No. That's it. Yeah. I said we take seven fifty, but if you find something super cool that needs a little bit more, we can chip in with our personal we, funds. If if other people have personal funds that can chip it a little higher, yeah, I have like twenty five gold. I, I haven't kept any personal funds. I've thrown it. Yeah. Just I I haven't either, just because I've just thrown it all on top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I think that was a pretty successful session. Yeah. Like we I, just say as a final thing, we travel back to. You want to head towards the Cragmore Castle, but not like in the next session we arrive there. If Fox is in Fandalin, let's head to Fandalin. Okay. We'll just take a long rest in Fandalin, and that way that puts us all back together. Yep. Together. I mean, sorry, Vox came with us, but Nox came with us, but. Yeah. Well, say we can like travel along the road, and the next session we pick up on the road heading towards the castle because that's where we wanted to hit. Yeah, and then we don't have any of the free thing. Okay, so yep. we're heading mm -hmm. we're heading towards. Like we'll go along the road down, and then once we get to about like sideways with the castle, we'll cut across. Yes. Yep. Cool. Okay. Cool. Next session is Cragmore Castle, which I won't be here for. That's all good. So good luck. <laughs> we will need it. Well, Cragmore I will Castle it. is final of. It before it had all the extra stuff added, so yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the old module, the old starter set, this is where it is now. Yeah, up. right. Now, did you say we leveled up? Yeah. Oh, and I've got another. That's the one on my AC. I'm now now okay. sixteen. That's oh, good. I've got more than me now. AC of sixteen. Oh, because you're 